Uh, let's say hi to Nick DiPaolo and Louis C.K. Hi, ladies. Can I, just, hi. can I just read what was just handed to me? <laughs> what was handed to you, sweetie? Can I, can I read it out loud, what was just handed to me? Yeah. Uh, reminder, can't talk about tasting, smelling, manipulating human waste. <laughs> also, no insertion or penetration in general. All right, I didn't this get any is, notes. See, when I <laughs> walk I in, I Nick get this. <laughs> uh, Louis C.K. is getting notes now. We call oh. him Dirty Louis. <laughs> well, well, we think it's hilarious. Post it. We do. Written. We think it's. I think you have the dump record officially, and we think it's yeah. hilarious. But then we started really looking at this and going, "Wow, man, people are not hearing no I'm huge ruining chunks the show. of the radio show." I'm ruining the show. <laughs> right. It's like I'm a guy who walks in and just turns the switch off <laughs> right. every few seconds. That's the sum total of it. Let me just shut the uh, transmitter down and then that turn it back great. on he randomly. Comes in, he just keeps turning the volume down. <laughs> All right. You I won't. It when you sit down low, don't be a faggot from the staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, smelling. Right. Smelling is worse. Yeah, I know. That is Because that's an accident. You don't mean to smell. No, you just no. walk into it. Yeah. It's like of course. you're there. Let's say, you how, do you, how that. is that offensive? How do you I, don't, I don't know. Like no. I was smelling. It depends what you're smelling. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah it does depend depends on what you're smelling. Depends on smelling. That, that could be dumped out right there, Nick. Opie? No, me. Oh, that was you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. post Yeah. I got the eight. <laughs> All of a sudden, I, got, I know the rules now. Give him one now. <laughs> He's getting ready to. Where was, where, I was smelling a young. All right. Let's go to Drew in New Orleans. Drew, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Drew. I uh, just want to make a guess for the AIDS outbreak. Is it in Vegas? Yeah, way to wreck the bit. Thanks. Oh, boy. Drew, were we really looking for the real answer? Don't you know the show by now? Yeah, it was Vegas. Uh, I could have said New Orleans right after Katrina, but unfortunately the National uh, Guard uh, got here. Uh, let's go inside. But you didn't have the balls. You ruined it just like your city was ruined. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's go inside this phone call. Who You called in with the right answer. Now what's supposed to happen? Mm, self ridicule, anything really? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, a clinic in Vegas. Right answer, Nat Fanny. Clinic in Vegas may have infected forty thousand with HIV hey. and hepatitis, and they didn't know it. So a lot of people they didn't. Vegas. So, you, yeah, they knew uh, it after yeah. five. Apparently, what happens in Vegas spreads like an epicenter. <laughs> <laughs> spreads like an epicenter. <laughs> it's, it's all like it's on the chip. So I can get rice and an AIDS if I go to the Monte Carlo this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, count me in. What a stupid hellhole that place is. <laughs> oh, God. What is rice and an AIDS? Rice and an AIDS. <laughs> Sounds like a lunch menu. Or they're rice. replacing Siegfried and Roy at the Mirage. <laughs> <laughs> rice and an AIDS. <laughs> Rice and AIDS. Uh, uh, going backwards, uh, Spike writes, uh, get Steve some honey. Steve <laughs> honey. needs honey. Honey. <clears throat> More honey. You know, I was supposed to go back on that show after that whole thing happened. Really? Yeah. Mm, good luck to you. Oh, Vegas. he made fun of you, right? Well, he. I went on and he got mad at me for making fun of uh, Clapton's Eric Clapton's kid. kid falling out of a window. Yeah, right. And uh, like that's he went funny. on for, a day, for <laughs> literally two days. He went on about how it was rude that I said it. But anyway, he, I, cause I was playing Vegas, uh, I was playing Cleveland soon after that. And so his producer said he was gonna, cause he, he said that I did the bit in my act, which I don't. Right. He, he just lied and said that I do it in a special. We found he does lie a lot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, his producer, who actually berated him during his show and said, you know, you're sounding like a wimp right now. And <laughs> he, he, his producer, called and said that I could come back. He was going to apologize to me on the air because he told Maxwell, you're dead oh. wrong. He doesn't do it. And mm. so they set up that I was going to come on. He was going to apologize and say, my bad. This was my mistake. But then you guys, <laughs> oh, <laughs> when you guys sent in the okay. carpet bombing, well, perhaps. then they wouldn't. I was sitting waiting for my phone. I was supposedly I was waiting them oh, to go on, great. and they never called. And instead, he went on. Apologize. Yeah, and then instead he went on, and apparently he'd gotten so many calls, he was so mad again. It's like, okay, I apparently I didn't. He doesn't do the bit in his act. But guess what? It's, it's still wrong what he said, and he's got oh, Ned Benny. Uh, Matt Benny. Yeah. Look at the picture of him online that they that they because he he is on a camera. Oh, this is great. The fans just video like screen cap. They screen capped a three uh, sequential pictures of him picking his nose. of him picking his nose and, 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 and then shoving it in his mouth. It. <laughs> it's just what? It's fantastic. Yeah. Wait a How minute. fantastic is that? I'm hungry. You think that you could pick your nose on the radio and be safe? I yeah. I didn't know boogers were that fattening either. Look at the size of it. Look at the High size calorie. of that heifer. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got? Sugar snot? <laughs> <laughs> Boogers with cheese. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
Oh, no, man. but the thing was that he he said that the thing I said on the air was okay originally, but it was the bit I did in my act that doesn't exist that was offensive. Right. And then he went back and started playing the bit I did on his show, and he cut right before he laughs, because he laughed at it. Oh, he did? So he kept playing it, and, oh. and you hear like... Hey. Like you just hear the beginning <laughs> of his laugh. Well, anyway, I'm not laughing. Well, we could uh, now that you're talking about, it, we could show the phone in this that is Maxwell. This is exactly what uh, Louis C.K. is talking about. It's kind or of else there, yeah. Or else, or else you you would close the door, get privacy, and meanwhile they go jump out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Right? <laughs> oh, now see that right there. That, that is Maxwell laughing yeah. his ass off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Now, see, stands where he thinks that. I think that's a terrible joke. Yeah, it really. happened forever today. Ago, I don't care. I really don't terrible care. Terrible joke, you but he's laughing. God gave that guy one really good talent. He can play the guitar. He wrote a great song about it. Made a million dollars. I don't care. And then he makes a joke about it. I don't care about yeah. any of it. <laughs> I don't care about any of it. And then you're right. He does make his own joke. He makes his own joke, which is actually, I'm actually talking about... That if you're, if you, as a father, if you don't watch your kids, they'll fall out of a window like Eric Clapton's baby. I call the baby stupid. Uh, <laughs> well, by the way, the kid that, was like four. Genius? I used to think that that kid was like a baby who crawled out the window. Right. Four years old. Should like know it that. Four year old yeah. kid walked out of a window. Right. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't up, right? Stupid douche. Absolutely. Age of consent. Is that did that get dumped? And here's yeah. no, that's fine. And here's <laughs> here's the phoniness. So now you're off the phone, and then you yeah. know, he was laughing along, made his really own joke. Really nice to me for another ten minutes after the joke. Right. He was super nice to me. This is the phoniness. He had a nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now his voice changed. Yeah, now he's yeah, got to be like, you know, well, yeah, he's, he's got to be cool shock jock. He, he's got to placate the, uh, you know, the soccer moms in yep. the Midwest. Yeah, of course. Those other yeah, nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. 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 I got to tell you, man, still, though, at the end of the day, making fun of Eric Clapton's kids falling to his death is not. <laughs> but he laughed at it. <laughs> no, no, man, I got to tell you, though, I got to tell you, not him, him because I'm intimidated by everybody. It's but I got to tell you. <laughs> I got to tell you because I pay you. At the end of the day. After mulling it over, I changed my mind. Yeah. Offensive. <laughs> First, it was funny, but then I did a picture uh, of the babies. Today, making fun of Eric Clapton's kids falling to his death is not funny. Just right? a phony voice and flesh. I agree. Yeah. I mean, come on, Stansbury. At least give me that. Uh, right. That's not funny. Kids falling out of open windows and 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 splattering on the ground is like. I think oh. he splattered. Yeah. When well, you, listen to the, listen when to you what give all that detail. It was a kid. Stansbury says something funny right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I just want to say, when you give all that detail, yeah, of course it's, it makes yeah. it go from a joke to and an EMT yeah. show up and yeah. scrape uh, a kid yeah. off the... Uh, okay. When he gets killed like Gage <laughs> in Pet Cemetery, uh, <laughs> Little stupid Gage right. running out into the street. Yeah. yeah. Little baby on the ground, ground is like... Well, I mean, he didn't paint that whole picture for you. <laughs> <laughs> See, this guy's funny. Uh -huh. Stansberry's not funny. Stansberry's funny. He's like, well, you, you're yeah, the one. You're the one who brought up the ugly details. <laughs> yeah, he right. understands the difference between a joke and, yes. and ugly of details. Right. Yes. Was, the point. Let me explain humor to to because I know he's listening to this. Of course, no he way is. he is. And I would. Just, he is. I Google myself with my you know hand on myself all the time, so <laughs> I know he does. Because I'm a better person than he is, so there's no way he doesn't at least do the bad things that I do. Let me explain humor to you. You use you use extremes to to, to draw up pictures. Yeah, you, yeah, hyperbole. I'm I'm talking about how awful it would be if you're as a father trying to have a private poop. And your kid is doing God knows what. And let's take the worst possible example: right. an unsupervised kid, a famously dead, yes. unsupervised child. And let's call him stupid because it's comedy after all. <laughs> right. That's the idea there. But I didn't go like, hey, everybody, Eric Clapton's baby splattered on the sidewalk. Isn't that funny? How funny is that? Yeah, which it is. But that <laughs> doesn't happen to be the joke I was making. But there is a difference. It's, he didn't yeah. paint that whole picture for you. Well, I mean, but, I mean, that's what happened. He fell out of a skyscraper, right, in New York City, right? Yeah, he walked out of a skyscraper. Skyscraper. Oh, oh, skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. <laughs> in the future, we will have skyscrapers. Well, it's Dirigibles will dock at the roof. <laughs> what a tool to skyscrapers. Hey, they try to year is it? Hey, they try to get that done with the Empire State Building. Yeah, they certainly did. They, yeah, wanted them, was... they wanted them to dock. They tried yeah. once. Right. It's failed miserably. Yeah. Anchor them at the top of the Empire State Building mm -hmm. and let them hang Who's out. Who's stepping there? out on that one? Yeah, well, right. yeah, watch your step as you step down and <laughs> plummet to your death. Like mooring a boat, you have to jump on the ledge of the Empire <laughs> yeah. State Building and tie it down. 
bunch oh, of dummies. Our it's the future. Were, our ancestors were stupid. Go to the airport, <laughs> thank you. Didn't yeah, he, he fall out, out of a window. plane like D.B. Cooper? Not funny. Not <laughs> funny. Well, I mean, he didn't paint that whole picture for you. Well, I mean, but, I mean, that's what happened. He fell out of a skyscraper, right, in New York City, right? Yeah, he walked out of the window. Yeah, he was dusting in the attic something. of the Chrysler <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> he leaned on a storm window. He leaned against a storm window in the Chrysler building, you dink. He's an iron worker. He was throwing hot rivets to another guy. <laughs> he was smoking out the window of Tower One of the World Trade Center. Yeah, what the hell? Hey, what the yeah. heck? Skyscrapers. Someday. A little baby walking in his pajamas with feet along a steel beam. <laughs> yeah, with a lunch pail and a hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's funny. Like some dumb old cartoon where the baby's just uh, <laughs> yeah. crawling along. You just hear bam, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Magoo, baby. <laughs> oh, hey, well, I guess just go around. <laughs> we can't get enough of this Maxwell guy. Hey, my pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get enough of this guy. It's just too much fun. Oh, oh no, baby no. Clapton, you've done it again. <laughs> baby Clapton. Yeah. <laughs> He's the laughing stock of Cleveland Radio, and the pacifier are just. Benjamin Just Clinton. running his life at this point. Oh, Baby, clapped in your... <laughs> <laughs> Slide whistle's always funny. But then a girder catches him right before he hits the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he still that. splatters and dies. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> now they just have to lower the girder uh, with a yeah, mess on it. Now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, did the, I did the show in Cleveland, by the way, and it was completely packed and sold out. I mean, he helped me. He sold at of least course. 400 of my tickets. Yeah. Half the and, crowd was moms and their kids. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> and uh, about... Uh, when I came back out for an encore and I said, uh, hey, how about I just said Eric Clapton's baby and the place went nuts. <laughs> yeah. They just went well, that means crazy. He, he didn't help you. That means uh, right. we helped you. No, you're dummy. exactly right. You're what is exactly wrong right. with you? Nick, you got you got all those fans <laughs> right. there because the Opie and Anthony show. Of course, Especially that's why. If you make the Eric Clapton show, no, I know, but they were cheering. energized. That means their own A fans, not Maxwell fans. I know fans. they were energized. Up us out by, here, by, of they were they energized were. by hatred of him. That, I don't yeah. mean that he got uh, promoted my show. United okay. in I hatred. I mean that he created a situation yes. where because this uh, lying ass will now take that audio, and make something. No, you're He's right. the laughing stock of of Cleveland, obviously, but yeah. now the now the country. And he's trying to. He's trying the angle of, well, if you want to play us nationally, we could use the publicity. You stink. I'll yeah, you're play, horrible. You're a, not a funny no, guy. No, it's the opposite oh, I don't of promotion. Know. I, think yeah. he's, I think he's kind of funny. <laughs> Got some comedy chops. <laughs> <laughs> if he was any good, we wouldn't play him. We don't want to expose good people to the country. Oh, yeah, we're not. Dumb. Jesus, what do you want to no. think? We're, here, look at this. This guy's much better uh, employee than I am. Check him out, boss. Speaking, <laughs> of, don't do that. Speaking of not funny, we should get their opinion on the whole Mastic thing. Not funny. We had another DJ that had to apologize at a press conference. He had to do a book report yes, they, about this town. Mastic. They made him do like a, a pretty Where's much the story? equivalent of a book it? report. I find this interesting. I Did you actually do a bit about nothing. something like this. What is it about? The radio jack got on the air and uh, he took a call from Mastic. Now out here on Mastic, out on Long Island, it's not there's a, a town, town that is just it's kind of you know below the level of income that Ron places Kankama. should be. And yeah, yeah Ron but he called the white trash. Yeah, he he, he, he actually said here here's the whole thing. A woman called up and said. Uh, so he he told her, "Do your pipes freeze in the winter, mm -hmm. underneath your trailer?" Yeah. She said, "I don't live in a trailer," and and that was it. That was the whole line. That was it. Are so, you kidding me? Oh so he had to apologize God. for. So he got suspended. Yeah. For saying for saying to your pipes for implying that people in Mastic live in trailers, you, and do you know this? Mastic is not zoned for trailers. We learned well, that. then I then he should have been suspended because that's a false that's statement. Of act, course, that's information. There, yeah. there. It, it. I've been to Mastic uh, plenty of times. It's what I would describe and what people describe as white trash. Is that yeah. near Shirley? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Because Quinn's always joking about Shirley. Oh. That's where his cousin lives, Tim Gates. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so he said it's the worst. Uh, Everyone from Mastic and Shirley tries to pick another place close by right. that they're from. They say, no, I'm from, like, Medford or something. Is this, like, something. where the area where, like, this is in Long Island? Yeah, it's like pretty much when you run out of Expressway. Yeah. So, it's, so it's like where Queens starts to turn into Long Island? Oh, my God, no. no it's so it's much further down. than that. It's, almost near, it's closer it's to, to England than Queens. It's, it's, it's closer <laughs> to the Hampton. It's out there. It's closer to the Hampton. Here, here's a new story. It's 30 seconds. Randy Spears, co-host of Long Island's WBLI morning show, came under fire last week after making trailer park jokes about people living in Mastic. 
He was pulled off the air last Thursday. At first, Spears refused to apologize, but yesterday met with residents face to face. Oh. And when I made those statements, I was just trying to have fun with the listeners like I usually do. It was not my intention to hurt an entire community. An entire <laughs> Randy Spears says he spent the weekend driving around and found out that there are no trailer parks in Mastic. So okay. what? Who took his a car crap. in a carjacking and sexually assaulted him <laughs> because many predators seem to live there. But he did find out there are no trailer parks. He sounds like a woman <laughs> yes! that has become a man. I was going to say, <laughs> why does he sound like an 80-year-old woman upon well, <laughs> who's had a sex change uh, and become a man? That's well, if I you know. look at the pictures on the website, <laughs> hello? It sounds like... Ned's I'm, I'm changing. I'm tip. blown away by that because I thought you were going to say that he said white trash and that somebody he didn't even decided, go that far. He, didn't the, even, he the, just he said, make, they just made a trailer joke and they they wanted him fired. And the radio station said if he didn't apologize, they would have fired him for that. And the for poor that. guy's got bills. Right, and he had to, yeah. he had to take back something that he had a right to say mm -hmm. in the post, Total right. and it's only going to get uh, worse if Barack or Hillary is president. Mm -hmm. Mind you, that. Uh, uh, in the post, it said he said white trash. Well, he didn't say white. I was going to say, since when did you get in trouble for picking on white people? No, he, yeah, that's, he's see, that's implying that going, they are white it. trash. Because in the post, they had yeah. saying Maybe he did say it beforehand. I don't know. I didn't, oh, hear, that. I didn't hear it either. It wasn't in the, in the quote. In the, in the Even if he did, post. who cares? Yeah. Right. Who no, cares? exactly. It's but, just one of those things. you never get in trouble for saying white trash. No, no. Any other... You know, any other group. race. Right, then you're in big yeah. trouble. Yeah. Well, but you sure redundant. you're allowed to say, I mean, the people, you, he should, even if he said people from Mastiff. Right. Mastic. Or Mastic. Mastic. Not Mastic. Mastic. Bull Mastic. Mastic. Dog. Mastic. Yeah, people don't. from Mastic are all awful. <laughs> right. And their lives are wretched. <laughs> yeah. And even though I've never been in, in a home, I'm confident in saying that none of their lives are good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. That's I'll say that sign. right now. That's on the yeah. sign when you drive into the town. <laughs> <laughs> right under the population. <laughs> Picture a Tim Welcome Gage. to Mastiff. <laughs> it Mastic. Such, it was such a throwaway line, and now this is what we do. We're dedicating our, yes. our whole show. The Rotary Club <laughs> welcomes <laughs> you to Mastic, where no one's lives are good on any right. level. No one's happy. Population, a big pile of crap. <laughs> <laughs> full of people. Now we just beat up the town relentlessly yeah, for the exactly. next three or four days. We're yeah. less less happy than a <laughs> pile of skinny humans on black and white film from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, for the, and, the, and for the people of Long Island, don't tune in BLI anymore because you're not going to hear anything edgy. Yeah, you know the station Idiots. management uh, caved on this lame uh, throwaway line. You're not going to you're not going to hear any edgy uh, entertainment over there. No, nothing. Once you can't again. say anything now. What's his show going to be like now? Who are their oh advertisers? God, Somebody calls him. Where are you from, be? Mastic? Oh, uh, nice, nice, wonderful. Have a place. nice day. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure your home is lovely. Uh, Who are the advertisers that are trying to appease to these broke idiots? Uh, yeah, with yeah. Exactly. Clean. Do, does your wife have a black eye from not listening? Try covering <laughs> it up with this. <laughs> <laughs> Things that help you beat a drug test. Your <laughs> 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 oh, baby falling God. out windows. <laughs> uh, oh, but the trailer, they're not that far. bushes. Yeah. <laughs> just cry there for a while. Falling out of a exactly. trailer is only a foot and a half. And this has to you be. You know, that's a very profound point. This has if to your be... baby falls out of a window and you're poor. You're, yeah. you're yeah. fine. Yeah, you're set. If no you're problem. rich, you're dead baby. Yeah. Because you, because you were vainly rich. You want to live on the thirtieth floor? Yeah. Then yeah. your kids yeah. gonna oh, that's die. Skyscraper. I want to. <laughs> I, I want to read this Sorry. part of the article before we move on. Because uh, this guy, Mark Smothergill, mm. wasn't satisfied with the big uh, apology press conference, oh, wasn't he? Dirty. He, he says, "What happened today, other than that, this job." That his job is secure. The guy's pissed off mm. at the apology and the press conference mm. and wants more to happen to this guy. See, he, you know what this else guy happened today? Mother Gill. Mother shot herself for having you, idiots. Yeah, <laughs> that's what <laughs> else happened. Right. That was a good thing more. that happened in Mastic today. Yeah. <laughs> and then you had Paul Burchard, director of the Ready for This? Yeah. Patter Squash Creek Civic Association. Patter Squash Qu Creek. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. He That's pointed out that I had Patter thing. Squash actually yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious, good, good stuff. <laughs> and he was the one that pointed out that the Patter trailer homes are not permitted under local zoning laws. Patter yeah. Squash. Well, I'll take the squash. I guess. See, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> He's up Patter Squash Creek without a paddle. That fellow. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, there's yeah. tatters squashing my panties. See, so guys, I mean, this is all based in sensitivity, and, yeah. but now even guys have become yeah. as sensitive as, you know, you expect mm -hmm. it out of a soccer mom yeah. who's like 26, but now even the guys, the guys are crazy. Just a in. nation of faggots. I don't know what happened. Yeah. What the hell happened? I'll tell you the feminization. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Yes. Oh, my boy. opinion. Oh, hold on a minute. What do we got? And now it's time for a mastic moment. As Opie and Anthony take a glorious look at this majestic Long Island community. Let's say hi to Joe, former cop. Mastic was his beat. What's up, Joe? We realize you're sitting in the presence of greatness. I was a uh, cop in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and uh, after Operation Pressure Point, they pushed all that drug traffic over the Williamsburg Bridge into my precinct. Every junkie I locked up, cop and duct tape from three places. New Jersey, Mass with Queens, and Mass Big Long Island, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was 82 miles for three bags of dope. I kid you not. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a bird's eye view into the scenic town we hold close to our hearts. A mastic moment on the Opie and Anthony Show. There you go. That's like a Woody Guthrie lyric or something. 82 miles for three bags of dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, An old folk song. Yeah. I was looking at some property in Mastic. So oh, yeah? I called this yesterday. He said, please, cheap. please buy my home. I, I want out of this hellhole. Really? Yes. I know you guys make a good living. Just buy my house, please. Guy, li guy lives it. in a lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> we should buy it. We should pull together money. Just buy the entire town. Just buy a house in Mastic and just put a billboard on the front. Just, you, <laughs> you stink. You all stink. Change it every day. Yeah. Is that an insult? Hello, garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got someone that is very upset. Our oh. first one. Oh, no. oh, oh boy. Mark, what's up? You guys are hurting my feelings talking about my town like this. <laughs> oh, I wish he meant it. I, I know. I to was so good. Right yeah, I was getting all excited. I, I was taking know. a deep breath. Oh, we were so excited. <laughs> my apologies. I'm emotionally hurt. <laughs> I bashed my head apart. My <laughs> shoes came off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sergeant G from Iraq writes, Mastic equals no money. No <laughs> money. <laughs> I got to tell you. It's safer to be in Iraq. I got to tell you. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> 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 All right, we got to take a break. Nick DiPaolo and Louis C.K. in studio. What are we uh, promoting, boys? Well, we're promoting the Jerry Red Wilson Foundation Comedy uh, Festival this Wednesday at Town Hall, right? Yeah, yes, tomorrow definitely. night, eight yes. o'clock. Huge Come show. On. Yeah, and tickets through what? Ticketmaster. It's uh, it's Louis, it's Nick, myself, Artie Lang, um, Kevin Meany, Greg Fitzsimmons, right. and uh, David Tells on the show. Yeah, it's a really huge great show. show for a really good cause. And also, we're all going to Atlanta to do my show no, this Saturday. No, that would just be. And then we're going to Wilkes Bar. <laughs> Oh, Are you going to Wilkes Barre? Right. Is that what it is? Barry? Fun town. And then we're going to go to Tampa Barry? next weekend. Oh, boy. <laughs> the improv. Well, you, the listener, figure out that. Go to, all for that Jerry Red. Go to nickdip.com. Oh, my yeah. God. I, I, I didn't know F the guy. i got to be honest. <laughs> A cluster F of plugs. That's Opie and Anthony. Call the Opie and Anthony Show. 866 wow one wow 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 Cell phone and PDA users send your message to feedback at opianthony.com. Right along with the Opie and Anthony show, the instant feedback about Mastic is unbelievable. And, and now it's coming in from all over the country. Boston's getting involved. Sam from Boston. I don't know how true this is, but he went to homes.com and, and looked up Mastic. And he writes, the very last page, there's a home for sale. <laughs> For nineteen hundred dollars, <laughs> I'm Come telling on. you, it's a brand new four bedroom, one point five, one and a half bath, sprawling ranch, completely renovated from the foundation up. The last line says, "Great for kids." Ah, I this bet. This can't be true. You can't buy a house for nineteen hundred dollars in Mastic. I'm telling you, Come we got E-Rock. In Buffalo, you can. And you get like an indoor, outdoor pool, 71 <laughs> acres. <laughs> me, and, me and Artie were up there about a year ago, and we were looking in the classifieds. We were on the phone with each other, like, crying. Yeah, it yeah. makes yeah. you disgusted that you live in uh, New York. Move into 20, the governor's mansion. <laughs> yeah. 23-bedroom yeah. Yeah. with 12-car garage, 11-5. <laughs> 11-5. Indoor, outdoor pool, 71 acres with wheat on it. And corn. <laughs> you get slaves, horses, a carriage house. Comes with fiddling <laughs> with thirty-five souls. <laughs> All hereditary. Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> oh my gut just ripped open. Oh, is that good? I must jump in. <laughs> no picture available, but I found the listing. 
nineteen hundred dollars, four bedroom, one full bath, a half a bath. Uh, estimated monthly payment nine dollars and eleven cents. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be real. Come on, I'm buying it. I'm putting down ten percent. I'm buying. It. We gotta buy it. Let's the, buy it right now. The down payment. Yes. Uh, oh. The minimum uh, down payment would be three hundred and eighty dollars. This mm. can't be. Dude, Come we got to no, buy it. Yeah. What's up, baby? That is my house There's now. actually houses cheaper. <laughs> no, <laughs> Come on. Really? That have photos. Oh. It's have got photos. It. Wait, here we go. And they're pissed off about this dumb we throwaway go comment. Buy, like, well, I, I'll buy a house today. <laughs> I'll just go there with too. cash. I'm me too. Let's, let's go, go buy a controlling... Let's be neighbors. Yes. I'm yes. I have an idea. Let's, let's all buy a whole block. Let's buy a controlling amount of real estate what? and become like the mayor. Take mogul. turns being mayor. Mastic mogul. There's got to be something. It's not haunted or anything? Yeah, yeah, let's let's all over hold the... on, hold on. Let me jump back in. We did find a cheaper house. This one is three bedrooms, one full bath. Oh, that's too small. Sixteen hundred and fifty. Fifty dollars. Estimated monthly payment seven dollars and ninety one cents. Can't afford that. The down payment would be three hundred and thirty dollars. Let's buy a house. I have the principal in my pocket to buy the house. Buy a house. Let's buy a neighborhood. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. We'll seriously. all have houses next. Take a dozen. No, seriously, buy it's a like buying. <laughs> I'm like donuts. Let's start. Like, <laughs> let's start a comedy cult in Mastic. We all buy a, a house each. It's like when you play Monopoly and you just go for Baltic. Yeah, yeah. You get yeah. Baltic and Mediterranean. Baltic and Mediterranean. Yeah, you got a hotel you land on it every turns. time. You Come a... on. Yeah, three turns, you got a hotel, and then they land on it every time. Yeah. Come on, man, rent. They're not get telling you bucks. something there. There's power lines and, like, the last three families, so what? kids went bald at four, <laughs> eight to four or something. The There's basement's something full evil. of radon. Yeah, exactly, but that's the point. <laughs> that's the yard, town. Yeah. That's the town he was making fun of. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yeah. And so. he was uh, right on the money. They forced us to do this today. How can oh, yeah. you be offended when there's houses in your town for $1,900? Here's what's you know? hilarious to me, is that <laughs> this guy made a joke where he did a stereotype. He, he applied a stereotype to how bad their town is. Yeah. A stereotype that turns out to be false. That there's trailers there, but the truth is it's way worse. worse. It's worse. It's, it's worse than way that. worse. It's nineteen hundred dollar houses. A grounded home with a foundation. Yeah, costs sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> oh no! And now it's time for a mastic moment. As Opie and Anthony take a glorious look at this majestic Long Island community. We got Rory from Long Island on the instant feedback. He writes, uh, or she writes, I saw, uh, I saw a 40-year-old woman get a DWI in the Wallbaum's parking lot in Mastic at 9 in the morning. Nice. That's a prize. That would be a supermarket for the rest of the country. That is the... That's what, how awful it is there. They can't even... They don't even... Walmart won't even open there. They send a Wallbaum's. <laughs> Wallbaum's. And that was a bird's eye view into the scenic town we hold close to our hearts. People are already... Moment. There's a one-bedroom... One Anthony show. There's a one-bedroom apartment uh, on Craigslist, I guess in Mastic, available for $99. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh. I got Rubbermaid products that are worth my... <laughs> for Christ's sake, I spent $120 on Rubbermaid products when I had my apartment in Astoria. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. I had a couple of margaritas that ran me more than that. <laughs> yeah, I go. Exactly. Literally. Yeah. I, I, when, when I, I went to Jimmy's show, sure. I tipped the waitress more than that just to keep bringing me drinks. <laughs> you could have had a one just bedroom to, instead. I could have had a one bedroom in Mastic. Just to keep it coming, tip. <laughs> That's it. I it was that Please that. keep the right. drinks coming. A lot of people saying that they have to be rentals. They're not rentals, right, E Rock? No. They're, these are houses you can buy a master. Well, what's going on here? I'm so telling you, we I, buy them and we become dude. like we do like the like the Dianetics people did in Clearwater. We just take over Mastic, <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Village. We run yeah. that, run everybody. And these out. houses are right on the water, by the way. That's what's really scary. About. Rename it Stink. <laughs> Stinks. <laughs> Stinks. Stinks, Long Island. Stink. I want like Ville at the end. Of it. like no, Stinksville, you know? No, just Comedyville. Stinks. Just stinks. Bronxville. Stinks. Funnyville. Stinks, Long Island. <laughs> no, S T I N X. Where, where you from? Uh, stinks, stinks, you know where Stinks, stinks. is? And you put the stinks. toilet on the front lawn, and everybody has to take a dump on the front lawn <laughs> while staring out at people walking. Hey, we by. own the place. Why not? <laughs> we go to, yeah, we make it a, a, a whatever, you know, what do you call it? A. A law that a town has. Uh, oh, yeah, an ordinance? An, an ordinance. ordinance. City ordinance. You have to poo on the front lawn. You have to have nope. your toilet out on the front <laughs> lawn. You just, good morning. You're sitting there with your paper. Let's nope. go to Marco. And defecating. Marco and Queens, what's up? The Stinks <laughs> Tribune in your hand. Hey. <laughs> Stinks Tribune. <laughs> Marco, go, go, go. Oh, Marco. Stinks Bugle. I just 
the mattress that costs more than those houses. Your your mattress costs more than a house mm -hmm. in Mastic. No, yes, that's Trump true. Nice. All right, thank you, sir. If you're walking past a a, a empty lot. In the Bronx, yeah, and there's a, you know there's a mattress with a burn in the middle, yeah, <laughs> with, you know that's worth more than a house in Mastic. In the house in Mastic. If you ask to get the bum laying there, how much for that mattress? He'd he'd have the dignity to ask more than they do for a home. Why? Why are there homeless? What? Any homeless guy? Exactly. Any homeless guy could panhandle enough money yes. to buy a house in Mastic. Yes. A shopping cart full of cans. Right. Two bedrooms. Exactly. Out there. <laughs> what are you yeah. doing? What the you hell are dumb. they doing out there? You deserve to be homeless. Exactly. So a homeless guy could sell his old coat. Yeah. And have that big house down the end of the road oh. in Mastic. The welcome wagon comes to welcome you. Hi, welcome neighbor. Why the hell do I get a booze? <laughs> Still homeless, he just has a house. Yeah. You're at a nineteen hundred dollar house, your neighbor buys the two hundred dollar pulls the value of your house down. <laughs> yeah. God damn bums. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go back here. And now it's time for a mastic moment. As Opie and Anthony take a glorious look at this majestic Long Island community. Let's say hi to Tom on Long Island. Tom, what's up? Tommy. Hey, boys, what's up? Hey, Tom. Hey, uh, my neighbor, uh, I lived in Mastic for six. My neighbor was 400 pounds, didn't have much hair, but what hair she did have was real long. She, she, she. <laughs> she wouldn't let us out. My father wouldn't let us out in the yard like once a week because she used to mow the lawn topless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love this This should now. be like Amish. You know, people go to see the Amish in their village. Yeah, yeah, and they watch them. They just watch them live. Yeah. You see people crapping on the front lawn. <laughs> yeah. Bald, yeah. fat ladies live. with no shirts and kids with cancer at six. <laughs> <laughs> that was as they smoke. You into the scenic town we hold close to our hearts. A mastic moment on the Opie and Anthony Show. A six-year-old kid smoking out of the hole in his throat. <laughs> He's already, he's already throat removed. He's already pushing around an oxygen tank. And it's because he smokes. It's not because of like, yeah. some he, chemical. He, he's been trying to quit since he was three. <laughs> he's got a patch. That rattle in your chest or your hand? No, if you, if you did an ordinance where you did make people put their toilets on the front lawn, that would yeah. be an improvement. That would be a beautification. Yeah, they'd call you fancy schmancy. Yeah, they'd be like, what are we putting on airs? Yeah, these city boys. Yeah. Yeah. And Instead of having the Virgin Mary and the, you know, half shell. They <laughs> yes, we got a real estate agent on the line. Yeah. Miles from Minnesota. What's up, Miles? Yeah, hey, I just wanted to let you guys know, do you realize that the closing costs on those houses is three times more than the actual house itself? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the exactly. closing costs is where they get you. Lawyer. Oh, that's right. The lawyer that you'd have to hire and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Just the pen, the pen that you use to sign. <laughs> more than the house. It's more than the house. I want to buy a house, though, there. What's I up just want to have one. What's up with those houses that cost less than 2000 Something is up. I don't get it. Yeah. We're, I, it's What's up is that sacred. the place is horrible. They're built on a pile of AIDS needles. <laughs> And you're only allowed to be barefoot in that part of town. <laughs> there, yeah, the city ordinance. Yeah, there's another ordinance. Needles. You gotta be barefoot. Yeah. So the foundations of uh, the foundation of the house is made of AIDS. <laughs> AIDS. 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 Yeah, the whole thing's built out of puddle of AIDS. Not funny. Oh god. I wonder if maybe they like the, 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 really they ran out of money and there's no sewer systems or something. It doesn't like it, it, it doesn't it's, it's still worth it. Yeah. The For bottom the, rock bottom point here yes. is that the fella had a right to make a to rib the town a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He should be. He should get I fined did. for not doing. You know. Yeah. For not doing it accurate. Yeah. For not at least do your research. There's nineteen hundred. There's two oh. twelve hundred dollar houses being sold there. I bet you. I want to see some pictures. You know, like you on Sunday, you look through the paper. Yeah. I want to see some pictures of Mastic. You know? Yeah. Where are those 1900. houses? It's just I'm a facade you, uh, perched go, up on two by fours. One eighth bedroom <laughs> with aluminum pan for open. Going to Mastic with a camera and just going and buying a home is yeah. worth doing. Oh, just yeah. doing it. Take, it a, take a camera with you. What is it? Forty five minutes from here. Document the whole thing. Uh, yeah, it'll take about. Without it'll take about an hour. Hour. Hey, we should get one of these homes for uh, Pat from Menaki. Get him yeah, out of that Pat, trailer. You want to live? He lives in a trailer right by the end of the runway at Teterboro. <laughs> I will buy. <laughs> it's horrible. That's Almost as it, bad as living in Mastic. The great thing about homes like that is that if you wrote, if you, that would get to him if you mailed him a letter. And you just yeah. write a trailer home by, right by the <laughs> runway <laughs> at Teterboro. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. What? What? We might be uh, getting Mark Smothergill on the phone. 
Oh, is it God. happening, Steve? He's the uh, guy making a big two. He's really mad that the guy didn't get fired. Yeah, he did. Well, Mr. Well, why would is, it, is this Mark Smothergill? Yes, it is. Hi, welcome to the Greg and Tony Show. How are you, sir? C Greg and Tony Show? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Greg Hughes and Tony Cumia? Oh, Anthony and Opa, you mean. Right. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. That's another name right. for the program. That's how, that's how we're going to start out. All right. No. Loyal, loyal listener and, and, and everything else, and that's how we're going to start out. Damn. Uh, all right, it's the Opie and Anthony show, and you're going to get beat up. How are you, sir? <laughs> okay. Why, why were you mad at the press conference that this guy didn't uh, get fired? No, no, no. That's, that's not what I said. Okay. Mm. That's not what I said at all. Mm. All right. What I said is basically, a liar. I didn't care. No, I'm not a liar. <laughs> I've lived through your suspensions. Oh, oh wow. Damn it, I hate when they're fans. So, and, you know, uh, what it came down to is they asked me mm -hmm. um, what I thought if I accepted his apology. Mm -hmm. Right. And I didn't because you're still on CBS or you at XM? Uh, we're on CBS. CBS. Okay, so I'll keep it clean. Okay. Thank you. Right. Ah, this guy's a big fan. Thank you, sir. Don't yeah. listen to the replay today. We we beat you up for about a half hour. Oh, yeah, I, I figured you would, but I know you're fair. I mean, I saw when Whoopi came on, you would not that I'm Jesus. comparing myself to Whoopi. I don't have any kind of wild hair. Why does everyone have to be a fan of our show? Oh, I hate that. We uh. poked fun at your name and your rosy cheeks. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> thought you were, we thought you were a professor at Hogwarts. Oh, come on. And that you practice wizardry. I'm a ROM installer. You know, I, 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 all right. I Mark, have my own so company sensitive? and I yeah, have Mark, all right. Mark, Mark, Mark. Must, must be a pretty lucrative business out in Mastic. Yeah, Mark, you, alarm installer. You're <laughs> protect that nineteen hundred dollar house. Hey, yeah. Let's not pick. You know, I mean, it could be a tin. Why not? Yeah, you know, nah, that's true. Out, like, wow, this guy's a huge fan. Mark, let, listen, longer. let's because we're running out of show here. Like, you seem to be really upset still. But if you listen to this radio show, you you got to know how to take a joke. I, I don't. No, I don't. I don't worry about the joke. I said I don't care about the context. How he said things. What I didn't like is the fact he had enough balls not to apologize on the air in the first place. Right. Mm. Then he came out and had this great written uh, apology that everybody made a big deal about how it's his apology and how he came out and he toured all these different places and toured the William Floyd estate. It's closed till springtime. I've lived here for 25 years. If he was at the gate and he toured it and he's telling us how wonderful it is, it looks like crap outside the gate. <laughs> yeah, but so what's the? So you just think he's being disingenuous? Is, is, I think he's full of crap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so you're not insulted by his making fun of Mastic. You you think he's being phony now? Is that the thing? I, I'm not thrilled about him uh, picking on Mastic because I mean, why? We're, we're an easy pick. <laughs> But so, you know what? so that it makes it more fun. Wait, Mark, let me explain what ha what happens in these situations. The station made him apologize. He wasn't going to apologize, Absolutely. but but they were gonna, they basically said you're going to be fired unless you read this statement that our lawyers put together. Right, and I I told them what, when I spoke to the news. I told them I didn't care that he was fired. I didn't care about any well, of that. Fired. What I cared hmm. about, or or even suspended. I didn't want him suspended. I don't know the context of his show. Don't listen to it. I told them at the time, I listened to your show, we had other people that complained, well, Opie and Anthony jumped on the bandwagon, which I knew you would, because you're not into people getting suspended or fired for things, because it's something that's near and dear to your heart. But, Mark, at least we're doing our research in how horrible Mastic is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Is it why, common, man. Your you people know, in your town put pressure on. This guy had to go back on something he said, because he's got a job, and he has uh, bills to pay. And they couldn't take a, a, a really light joke about yeah. their town, but which which if is... You, if you knew anything about the area... Who cares? Uh -huh. Who cares about the area? Yeah, Mark, it doesn't Who matter. Who cares? It's just I, a I, joke. I, people can make a joke that Mastic is just a pile of poop and not know anything about it, and then the people in Mastic should hear it and go, oh, oh well, I'm going to go live my yeah, life but now. That's, that's the thing about this area. It's been so fractured for years. So it's, what? It's, it's, it's just words. It's just air. a radio DJ making fun of a stupid town where you can buy a home for $1,600. So <laughs> yeah, who cares? That, that's not true, and, you know, it, it's not... Yes, it is. No, we're looking, and we're, apparently look, you can buy a house for 1600 bucks <laughs> there. So we found it online. Uh, you can't buy a house out here. For yeah, we're a little we're, confused, but by we're it. online and we we there are houses for sale in Mastic for sixteen hundred dollars. I don't understand how this is possible, but I want a, uh, like a dozen. 
I want to buy a bunch of these a houses. Six pack of houses. My wife sells real estate on the side. Trust me. If she must be broke. Even if yeah. it's even if it's not true, we're gonna buy one of these houses and we're gonna force all the town yeah. people yeah. to take their dumps in the house. That's what we decide. <laughs> yeah, we, we're gonna have everybody. We, we want an ordinance where toilets go on the front lawn. Not even. Oh. No, you just walk in the house and just just. Do the whole house is a toilet. That's right. The bottom line is you're being... Our goal is to try to fill it up to the ceiling with poo. It could be worse. It could be yeah. the dumpy area you used to live in Boston that I hear you talking about all the time. Oh, oh, Ashland. Oh, so that's okay. Hey, that's believe the me. whole point. Ooh. Who cares even if it's true? People make fun of a town, yeah. and then that town goes and, and shuts up. I, yeah. just... I mean, who cares? It's just a town full of babies you know, you know that should just die in a pile. <laughs> <laughs> You know why it, it's good that people stood up and said something? It's, why is that, not Mark? good. Because we've been beaten down so long. Oh, big oh, deal. Poor Jesus. babies. Yeah, Grow up. up. Grow some move, thick skin. Move but out Mark, of mastic. You're and the problem of the country. But Congratulations Mark, because, with Hillary. But, Mark, because you guys uh, stood up for your town, we just made it a lot worse the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, just drink Drano. <laughs> we're paying tribute to mastic all week. Yeah, you better listen to the show because now we're getting to know your fine, uh, I'm your fine, fine I'm town. I'm going to be your neighbor, and I'm going to rename oh, the town Stinks. We have an offer. You, you, yeah. Come yeah. out. We have a bus tour of the area. You want to talk intelligently about it? No. 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 Are you going to... No, a why bus tour? We... Is that the bus that the sheriff drives yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the way to Riverhead? It's like jungle habitat. You can poke them and they talk to you. <laughs> is that the jitney to All the sensitivity is killing this country, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Quit being a thin-skinned baby. Who would listen baby. to a radio show where they talk intelligently yeah, about up. a town? That's not entertaining. You. <laughs> yeah, we like to make poo jokes. <laughs> All right, Mark. All right, Mr. Smother Gill. I'll get back. The armory that you have in your house. Or... All right. Yes. Yeah, whatever. It's to protect area, myself right? from the people Ooh. of Mastic. You've been yeah. deballed. Go look for your balls behind the house. <laughs> All right. At least he came on the show. Yes. Thank you, Mark. All right, Mark. Mark. Keep listening. Get yourself a better show his name. I yeah. hope you get sick from the fertilizer that you don't have on your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about Boston, but we're running out of show. Uh, yeah, you just talk about it. Anyway. All right. Sorry. Well, they were great for you, right? Uh, the Louis C.K. fans were awesome. They came to the show. And I have these friends from... I have a varied audience. Some of them are nerdy, and some of them are parents, and then there's O and A. Right. Like, always a third of the audience. Right. And my nerdy, kind of Harvardy friend from Boston was like, who are these meatheads who come to see you? And I was like, that's my guys. The O and A guys. They are awesome, though. They yeah, they were there, great. They understand comedy, and they're, they, they they're just do. amazing. Right. They are. Because you filmed your comedy special in Boston, and I the fans did, came and out and drove. I did two shows, and it was two of the best sets I've ever had. Awesome. And uh, so I thanked them. They came, and they really supported. I mean, right. they bought tickets in like 10 seconds. It was right. Great. Very cool. Our uh, music ended. we got to get out of here. Cool. So uh, uh, Nick DiPaolo. The, what are we doing? The Jury Red Festival? Jury Red. Well, the foundation. Foundation. Yeah, Jury yeah, Red yeah, Foundation. Yeah, yeah. This Wednesday at Town Hall. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Town Hall. All right. That's it. Bye. Bye. The Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. In the world of Radio Shock Jock, the biggest are Opie and Anthony. These people say shocking things that border on offensive uh, in order to entertain their audience. I refuse to sit here and it think that radio that. has to be nice. Why? Why does radio, out of Shock any Jack. other medium, have Shock to Jack. be nice? We are being Shock now Jack. held to a standard where we have Shock to be Jack. nice and make people feel Shock good. Jack. Go screw! Radio Bad Boys, Opie and Anthony. Controversial radio personalities, Opie and Anthony. Infamous DJs, Opie and Anthony. Talk show radio hosts, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Radio Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. 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 Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie
No, I'm going to do what Jimmy did. You didn't really watch The Sopranos when they big, but then you bought the whole thing, right? I finally Marathon. caught up the season. That's what I figured I'm going to do. Too. Yeah. I never really saw it. I'm going to bang it out. Ignore my wife for a month. I'm <laughs> banging it out right now. I'm uh, four episodes into the second season. Oh, you're already in season two? Yeah, I'm moving uh, fast now. I'm doing Omar. two to three episodes a day. That guy that plays Omar, though, he's in that move, that bad movie I wrote with Chris Rock. <laughs> what movie? Is he's, he good, really? he's good in it. He's Which good movie? In it. Is he? I think I love my wife. Oh. He was in that? Yeah. He plays uh, this ex-boyfriend of the guy that she's that his okay. chick is dating. He was also yeah. he's really na mean and nasty. He's he's oh. great. Folks, yeah. show. Well, yeah, I'm mean. Folks, show. See, I could have got the call on that one. Folks, show. Tell me. Michael K. Williams and uh, and Andre Royal. If, if that's if, and I don't trust it because we're supposed to get another guy from season four who's become a big star in seasons four and five. If Roland fucked that up and got my hopes up for Michael K. Williams, I'm going to oh. play Roland's fucking Who's Michael Roland K. Should Williams. Who's Roland? You know better, too, not Michael to get Williams your hopes Omar. up. No, it's it's Omar. Yeah, Michael K. Williams. Omar. No, I'm going to just call him Omar. This is 80% sure, Jimmy. Mm. I'm oh, calling okay. him Omar the whole time. We should only talk about <laughs> his gonna, role. He's going to shit if it doesn't Gone, happen. Gone Baby Gone. <laughs> he, was, he had a very small part as a cop in Gone Baby Gone. Yeah. We should only talk cop. about that. He was the good cop, and his brother in Gone Baby Gone was like the Omar character. Yeah. Oh, it was awful. Hey, uh, it's... Dunk, get it? it was I like Gone Baby film. Gone. It wasn't that heard, bad. There's well, worse movies. Oh, yeah, there's well, sure. It wasn't. I that mean, should be the quote in the. <laughs> <laughs> there's worse movies. There's worse movse movies. Anthony movies. Kumina. And the star of Gone Baby <laughs> Gone is in uh, season Kumia. two of The Wire. Yeah, whatever whatever yes. the fuck it is. It makes a big difference. Dago name. <laughs> it's just another WAP name. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony Italian. I saw a great movie last week. <laughs> what movie? That's what they should have done. Sorry, we're That's having two conversations. Like we, this show just doesn't listen. It's all right. I apologize. The, the, the listeners will pick what conversation they want to go with. Yeah, do it in stereo and just split it. We're the worst at listening to each other. It's amazing. Well, what do you want to do? What were you guys doing? Because you <laughs> were doing two. Now. And then Nick was, was doing something. I was making fun of his name being, being Italian. Italian. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you want to see a great movie. You're Italian? Practical Magic Sorry, yes, <laughs> with Sandra Bullock. <laughs> Practical Magic oh. with Sandra Bullock. It's <laughs> really good. I put that right above Midnight Cowboy. Here, yeah. Right below Cuckoo's Nest. Mm. <laughs> Anything with that Sandra Bullock. She's good, She's though. Magic. I mean, you know, yeah. With, what was the Dennis Leary of Two If I See? Uh, yeah. Oh, that was, that was so terrific. Boy, can she pick them. I oh. like the lake house myself. Oh, God. That the is lake. the worst thing that I ever saw. Good. Was that horrid? Just, they don't even, it's based on a really hard to sell premise, and they don't yeah. even try. What's it about? It's a uh, lake uh. house. It's about and mastic. And... The two bedroom and mastic. <laughs> <laughs> it was bought for $1,200, <laughs> and it was a piece of shit. She and in the mailbox... She oh. yeah, yeah she, she owns it in like now times. It's so bad. And uh 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 what's his name? Keanu owned it like a few years a before. A few years before. It's before. not even like a man from the forties who no. owned it. Hello, what is this? It's uh, like no, a few years I hope it's before. not from a Negro. <laughs> yeah. But is and they'd send letters to each other in the mailbox of this place. And then they figured out like they were in different times. Like she would put a what? mail but a they letter in the mailbox. Notes. That happened to me once. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> Wait, she would put her mail in the mailbox. Email. She put it. <laughs> this sounds good. She put oh, a mail, a letter in the mailbox, which who does that anyway? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I don't and really then it was I just gone. To. She put the flag up or some shit. What it was? Oh, you're is kidding that, me. What it yeah. was is that he. That was the big dramatic. Oh, part. you're fucking kidding me. He wrote a letter <laughs> saying where. Who, I don't even. I can't even do it. That she lived there, and she's like, "No, I'm living here." So they kind of figured out that uh, they lived in a different time in the same house, and kind of fell in love. Over this. Yeah, that always happens. And, yeah, of course, by mail. He should have just dropped a load in the mailbox. But she opens it up with the <laughs> hand in shit. And just gets a fucking right. load of cum Here's, in her here's your delivery. There's <laughs> your timeless you love, you cunt. Here you go. <laughs> or a mousetrap. A mousetrap with fucking AIDS blood on it. <laughs> here you go, slut. Here's your time traveling splooge. <laughs> so they, they, they kind of made this deal. to the deal. woman playing her. Yeah, you did a great job in speed, too, you fucking hole. <laughs> they kind of made this he deal for him to meet her. Yeah. And he wants up getting hit by a car and dying or yes. some shit. No, but the thing is, what, where they destroy the, <laughs> the premise, the, which is bad anyway, is that they wanted to start having to be able to have conversations that are like two or, you know, instead of long letters. Yeah, yeah. They, it's just bad dialogue. So they want yeah. to be able to go, so how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? So they just stand there and each put one in, like, right, I'm okay. How are you? Put the letter <laughs> in. And then the other person gets it and Ugh. says, oh, that's nice here. And then they start talking really fast back and forth. Yeah. And how the, the flag that magically happen? goes up and down. Yeah. And one of them dies oh, Paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. They fucking they're they're in different times in the same house. 
Just writing letters to each other? And the mailbox yeah. has this magical ability to transport the letters. I'm just putting a fucking one walkie-talkie. Put one walkie-talkie in the fucking yeah, mailbox exactly. and stand at it with another one. Yeah. And you can talk to each other or some shit. Exactly. Try That's things. Horribly <laughs> tedious fucking It plot. sucked dick, this yes. movie. How about send a photo of your 20th century pussy? Yeah. <laughs> I never heard of a camera yet. Send a, send a photo of your cunt in a racing form. Exactly. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking stock sheet. Yes. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> what stock I should buy, you dumb cunt? Send me a picture of your mouth around the genitals of a Negro. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. We don't this give show is this unbelievable. Time. Oh, it's just gotten horrific. How does the dumb uh, movie end? It's he Go does. Square. He gets hit by a bus. Well, he or she uh, stops him from getting hit by a bus. That's how it starts. It really. starts with somebody getting killed in the road, and Sandra Bullock is with her mother, I think, and looking out and going, oh, that's kind of a horrible thing. You don't realize at the time that that's him. Yeah. And then at the end of the movie, you it realize, turns out through everything that had happened, he was coming to meet her, and then because of that, she saved him. So you don't realize the, until 20 minutes in that it's him. And he's you go, yeah, oh, I get it, yeah, he's going to uh, get it. Is he really killed it. by a bus? Yeah. Uh, Which is ironic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Because there's speed. <laughs> speed. Uh, uh, that is just... Uh, fucking, I forgot about that. Yeah. They were in that together, huh? Both of them. She can't make a fucking movie without a bus in it, that dumb boy. We want to do a stage wagon. It's in a rider. Yes. In a there has to be somebody that dies by bus in my movie. <laughs> I want to give props to Drudge. Holy shit, go to Drudge. It has, uh, I saw this this morning, it has a picture of Hillary and underneath it it says Sea Day. I know. Oh, nice. It says Sea Day. What is That's this guy? Right? What's that supposed That's to be? funny. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. They just said it to you on the That's way right. over here. Yeah, they are doing that on purpose. It's a big day for Hillary. It says Sea Day. But why do they call it, uh, what's the straight She's line? She's a cunt. Uh, that is there any other way to look at it? That is the straight line. No, no but so there isn't. At. There isn't like some double. Clinton. This is a single. Yeah, what's calling her cunt? I calling just said to him on the way over here. We should have a new. He was talking. We were talking a about newspaper. To yeah. do a, a newspaper like the Post, but that just goes further. And just, just wave. Have her there yeah, on the cover. Her. Just write. <laughs> just write. <laughs> see. That's what I see. And quotes. that's what he was saying. See in quotes, and then you turn the page and it says, "By see, we mean cunt." That's so weird that you just. That's fucking bad, man. That paper would sell. Are you kidding oh, me? Yeah, well, oh, that should have said it on the air because we probably threw away a million dollars. God now. damn it! There's some millionaire listening, and he'll be going down the street tomorrow. It's be, by the wow. time we can leave here, it's going to be <laughs> X Ray. The guy hands it to you with those X Ray. X Ray. Yeah, we would get see. We'd get old fashioned paper boys with knickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the short pants. Okay, yeah, the short I thought, pants. I thought you were continuing the theme of the show today. No, we're not going to hire them. <laughs> <laughs> extra, extra. <laughs> extra, extra. Hillary Clinton's a cunt. Would you like a paper, sir? Huh? Yeah, that would be a wonderful oh, newspaper. It yeah. would be amazing. The Daily Shit and Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is a good picture of her. Oh, they are really fucking mean. They love uh, fucking with her with pictures. Look at him. Oh, he looks so awesome. Look at him. He's got sunglasses on like he's fucking, you know. He looks yeah. like Malcolm Will X. Smith of Malcolm X. Look at that turkey neck on that pig. And she's <laughs> mar... Look at that. She's pulling her she chin like in. She's about to blow chunks in, onto, my, onto my balls, I hope. We gotta, she had like 12 pounds of Chinese food in a six-pack before she went to bed. <laughs> look, look at those horrible 40 chins. pounds of salt like, in her gullet. She looks like Kevin Meany. <laughs> That's just because you just lean back. We've all done the lean back in a picture and look yeah, horrible. Exactly. Yeah, you just look horrible. horrible. Hey, I'm like I don't want the chocolate. Oh, Every time somebody takes a picture, I'm like this. Oh, yeah, I yeah, stick my chin, chin out. I'm like a fucking yeah. ski jumper. Yeah. About the <laughs> hey, let's get E-Rock in here because talking about Obama, uh, supposedly Limbaugh said something pretty outrageous. Oh, saying? yeah. Yep. My yep. He See, just laughed at something. We're just getting this line. He laughed at something somebody else said. This is how we get the line on the no. air without getting fired, by the way. Wow, look at the young Hillary. Wow. Jeez. Hello. Still, what? Yeah. She hasn't looked like that in 10 to 12 years. Nice yeah. astronaut. It's still nice. not really good. No. <laughs> still not never, really still not never really good. good. Even much, you, she only, you, she limits your, well, that's not bad. Even, I, would, uh, I would come in that hair. Even, you know, <laughs> even youth doesn't help her. <laughs> still like, no, the best she gets cut. is like just weird fantasies like that. Yeah. Well, I would, I would jerk yeah. off in her yeah. face. That's right. <laughs> right. I mean, she's I not getting like, I would make passionate no, love. No, it's like, yeah, love in the face. We got E-Rock in studio. We got to be oh. very careful with this. Hint, All hint. Right. Okay, but uh, E-Rock, tell me what you heard. Um, there's a transcript online of mm. a caller Rush took on his show yesterday mm -hmm. comparing, uh, there's an actual transcript though? Yeah. This is, look at how website. nervous you are. Cause I'm trying to. You're breathing just heavy. You just it. swallow like you just did. Compa <laughs> look. Comparing, comparing that involuntary swallow when you're all nervous. 
comparing Obama to um, Curious George. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. The mm -hmm. caller, when That's when Limbaugh weird. was laughing about it. Oh, so Limbaugh laughed about laughed it. At it. Okay. Supposedly, yeah. Uh, the caller That's may illegal. have been making monkey sounds. Oh, and Limbaugh may may or may not didn't hear it or was yeah. laughing over it, and that's <laughs> what the, the controversy was. Yeah. Okay, so we don't know if, if that was true or not. All right, we have audio look how we have to tiptoe. We're trying to find audio. I know. We're trying to find audio of this, isn't it, Jimmy? He he went to break and then came back and did about ten to fifteen minutes of apologies. Why do we have that audio? No, none of this audio surfaced yet. We have no How audio. Who do they no, apologize stop. to in the office? It's, it's a fucking radio <laughs> show. Don't even surface. Gotta be somewhere. Yeah, yeah, the so nobody had it. was this a preemptive so apology. Great, no one's taping yeah. him where they. This is a Someone has lesson. the audio. He, he does, apologized he before. Spent like 50 bucks on his site to get it. Oh, he he apologized before bucks. anybody complained. That's to fantastic. Apologize to the man with the yellow hat for making fun of his friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> well, we're trying to very get that. familiar with that story. Yes, we're trying to get that audio. But <laughs> that, I, I, I for one, say. hope it isn't true. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're a good man. I, I for hope one, it isn't true. Hey, we did get it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Rush didn't say the Curious George thing. It was a caller. No, Please he get it right. We said that, yeah, Lon. We said that. Come on, dummy. We <laughs> said that. It is the whole thing that Rush was laughing. <laughs> Fucking Erox said the, the audio hasn't surfaced. Surfaced? You got any footage of that? So no, no, they're hiding it. <laughs> footage of the one? Incompetent shit dick. Get in here. Yeah. The audio, audio hasn't right. surfaced from that major nationally syndicated radio show. Exactly. Listened to by more people than anyone on earth. Yeah. It's like Rush But no one can dig someone. it up. He fucking sent it to a microphone so it would go out speakers. You fucking Hillary face cunt. Go get it. <laughs> fucking, I'll wrap your neck around my dick and just fuck your underface. Ask somebody who's making a phone call in a Dunkin' Donuts and they've got it on their fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody's leaving somebody a message. Hey, we got an update on the Jane Fonda thing, too. Uh, when remember she this? dropped the C-bomb. Apparently she never said it. Uh, well, I know you were, well. Amazing. And I know when it started, there were some A-list celebrities who came out to help you. But, Jane, you at first were not a big fan of the play. So what turned you around? Well, it wasn't that I wasn't, wasn't a big fan. I hadn't seen the play. I live in Georgia, okay? I was asked <laughs> to do a monologue called Cunt. <laughs> and I said, I don't think so. i got enough problems. But, <laughs> But then you were invited to go see. Yeah. Fucking love Jane uh, Fonda right now. It's a monologue called Cunt. First of I all, problems. I love also, she said cunt like you're supposed to say it. She said cunt. cunt. Like you came from underneath. But you know what? That's not even her line. Cunt. Brett Butler, there's a female comic. I don't know if it was Brett or Caroline Ray. One of them said that in their act. Really? Yes. Really? It's not even her fucking line. Uh, so she stole, stole it? it? Yes. Wow. And then you hear Meredith Vieira laughing at her, right? Yeah, now yeah. she's denying she didn't really hear it. Because I didn't hear it. She was that's, turned away from me. I wasn't even in the room. I fucking didn't hear it. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, that's the update right uh, there. Yeah, she claims she never heard uh, it. Uh, she uh, she uh, she's, she's laughing uh, at it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, Meredith had this uh, to say. Before we go to break, in our last half hour, we were talking about the vagina monologues, and, and um, Jane Fonda said inadvertently cunt. said a word from the play that you don't say on television. It was a slip, and, and obviously she apologizes yeah. and so do we we would do nothing to offend the audience so please accept that apology and when we come up I'm not uh, we're going to be talking about the secrets to making your love last a nice story oh, a nice story oh, nice oh, <laughs> so god damn it that's the secret right there get a 12 year old cunt <laughs> get your fucking, fucking get, a tra a get a 12 year old cunt transplanted into your old body <laughs> <laughs> that'll oh, make your love last you got, fucking cut out that you shit Viewer, and you replace it. <laughs> Fucking switch it oh out. My Fill your God. pussy with rocks. Fucking so there's something for him to rub against. Buy six pounds of chicken livers and sew it in there. <laughs> switch out your old pussy for your daughters, you fucking useless whore. Switch it out. <laughs> Vroosh, fucking, it's a fucking filleting knife. Get the knife. pit crew to put a new one in. <laughs> the Penske team surrounding you. <laughs> Ten seconds. Done. <laughs> Fuck her again. Oh, shit. My belly hurts. She just was... Yeah, denying everything now. Uh, now well, now she's saying she never she even was heard laughing. It. Never heard it. So. She apologized. Can you imagine. Wonderful. Never heard Can you imagine? She laughed at it. She yeah. fucking gave it a nice uh, fat laugh, like that guy in the Honda. Let's go to Andrew on Long Island. Andrew. Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Yeah, I heard the uh, comment yesterday. I, oh, you I did. was in a rush right after you guys. All right. And, uh, he, he, the lady didn't make any sounds in the background. All she uh, did was compare that. Her son said that he looked like Curious George. Yeah. Rush just laughed right after it. 
when Rush got back on the air, he really didn't apologize. He he kind of made a joke about it, stating that uh, how McCain had to apologize for using his middle name. So he's making a joke. He didn't really apologize. Okay. He's poking around about it. But. So well, according was... to Shaking <clears throat> E-Rock, this is a <laughs> national incident, of, uh, and, the, and the audio's been hidden in the archives, and it hasn't surfaced yet. Yeah. Oh. Should we get E-Rock back I in I want here? to grab Eric's neck fat and pull it up over his head. <laughs> Let's say hi to Stryker. Stryker, what's up? Like a sweater. Yeah, morning, boys. Hey. There was numerous references to the Curious George book uh, on Rush yesterday. He signed off his show by saying, I'm sick, I'm going home to read Curious George, and then he made some comment about Obama. Good for him for not fucking being a fucking little pussy about it. Yeah, he will. Huh. Speaking yeah, I'm of sure pussies, Iraq is back. Iraq. Iraq, what's yeah. the matter, you nervous Nelly? Nothing. <laughs> Okay, you're all frightened. Look at you. You're all scared. What's no. up? No. Can you blame him? Look at the talent. So there's some, some woman was saying that her <laughs> child really. her child made the observation yeah. that Barack Obama looks like Curious yeah. George. Oh, that kids was, that don't was the lie. Call. Oh, kids are crazy. Kids they say the darndest lie. things kids I hear. They the do say the darndest things. things. They Ouch. say the darndest things. <laughs> but look, I mean. Stop. If you're a kid, seriously. Only a child. Oh my goodness. No. Only a silly now, which child. Now, one, which one's yeah. Barack? With C. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, uh, let's say hi to Blake in Virginia. Blake, E-Rock's leaving now. Yeah. Oh, there right. goes E-Rock. E-Rock, come back. Only a silly <laughs> child. Oh, my belly hurts. Would make Dumb children. E -Rock, oh. you guys are Blake me. wants to talk to you. Grab yeah, Blake. Go. Blake. You're on, Blake. Go. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Hey, I was listening to him yesterday. He, uh, the woman, little kid, said, uh, by the way, I think Obama looks like Curious George. And uh, he didn't apologize. And I was watching Saturday Night Live the other night, and they were doing that Obama skit. And he does. He's got the exact same facial features. Well, you, you're saying that Fred Armisen dressed like yeah, yeah, Obama yeah. looks like looks Curious like George. George. Right, right. But, look, if you're an actor and you try really hard to look like Obama, and no, you end up a Curious there, George, he? yeah. Then yeah. what does that say about a similarity? The audio no, right there. No, wasn't Obama it. actually on SNL too? He was, was once. He? Yeah, he yeah. was once. Yeah, I know Hillary well, dropped in. <clears throat> they did a thing. Thrilling. Well, they did a thing. By the way, the thing he did. No, he was. It was a uh, Hillary being at a, a costume party, and there's a guy dressed like Obama. He's wearing an Obama mask, and he takes it off, oh, and yeah, it's him. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, clever. Yeah, but the mask was kind of funny. <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Obama, when if he becomes president, Obama masks are going to be very oh huge, a very seller, very offensive. <laughs> they are. Oh, well, that's here. the thing is that like Nixon masks and those masks, they're meant to like really caricature and make fun of and give the worst of the guy. Right. So if there's a black president and they make a, a Obama mask, it's gonna True. it ain't gonna be pretty. Yeah, because like a Nixon mask always had that ski slope big nose, nose and everything, big right. nose, big uh, nose. The Reagan big mask jowls. Yeah. had the big jowls and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, so what is this gonna? Have? They're not going to allow you to make that mask. No, no it's going to have paper-thin lips. <laughs> it's going yeah. really... to look like Warren Hutchinson. Remember? Yes, it's going to be it's... really dignified. It'll also have to like uh, come with gloves. Yes. For, oh, for the well, yeah. white people, yeah, you can't, you yeah, know, you can go around with a... <laughs> Mask without gloves. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you're not doing a proper. For all these years of having a white president, we just could put the mask on and walk around. Come yeah. out with gloves and I sixteen think... foot shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny. Oh, she's on. She was on the Daily Show, huh? Well, that whole uh, liberal media thing was just a big lie, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> Did she get cheek <laughs> implants? Did Hillary get cheek implants? What's hopefully, uh, hopefully they're delivered with a fist. <laughs> 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 yeah. She is in pain when she has to smile. Like she did get some fucking. She's, she's got something going she's like on. A fucking she's got squirrel. Petrified jizz injected into her cheek. <laughs> yeah. That's where she keeps uh, Bill's balls <laughs> in, in her cheeks. <laughs> look at cheeks. Joe Scarborough. Look at Scarborough with his fucking fucking inbred eyes. Look well, at those dime know. slots. This guy's good. Well, he took over for Ivis, and now Chuck Nice is part of the, uh... There's not enough oh, fucking writing on the screen. Man, look at that. Wait, wait, why is Chuck Nice on TV? That and is so what, they what, can't what? pull an Imus. Yeah. He's on with who? Chuck's there, so... Chuck Scarborough. Took over for Imus on... And, and that way, if there's any racial, uh... Chuck controversy... Yeah. Yeah, see, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Nick's had it. <clears throat> Nick just put his head down. You don't like, want to be there. It. You don't want to be yeah, there. Yeah, I do. At this fucking point, I do. That's how fucking. <laughs> you want to be on fucking on on morning TV, uh, laughing at people I'd that aren't funny. I'd rather be on my blog radio talking to six people in my face. <laughs> if you do fucking morning TV, you're going to be a fucking apologizing like a fucking uh, a pilot in captivity in Iraq. <laughs> 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 fucking in about ten minutes. 
me with a black guy. I did in no mean, no I means, know. I did no way mean to offend the African American uh, community. One, man. You'll be doing that in a second. So Our country is waging time. an illegal war. I love that one. It's like right after they pull that bomb yeah, exactly. handle, the second they go down and get caught. Oof. This yeah. country's illegal war against yeah. your country yeah. and its people I was, is horrible. I That's was, what these apologists look like when they people exactly. apologize for their fucking curses. Yep. They look like they got yeah. a fucking AK-47 yeah. 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 in their head. They should hold a newspaper with the date on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sorry I said what <laughs> yes. I said about your town. <laughs> yes. Looking around like you know just off camera is an AK-47 muzzle. Trying to blink another <laughs> message to your wife. <laughs> That's hilarious. Please help me. That's <laughs> what they look like. Yeah. And it's on weird videotape from another <laughs> country yeah. i uh yeah. should never have said it it's a horrible thing please will they cut my head me? off please i just don't want to hear how hard it is for a fucking uh please all right we're gonna take a break and get the uh the rush audio they're getting it now oh hopefully. they're getting it oh, good how do they right, find good. it i don't know how do they Jimmy? find such yeah. hidden it hasn't surfaced something so obscure just the fact that he used the word i'll tell you how they found yeah. it they logged on yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's not like we're asking they to find tuned a radio snuff film to 15 different stations that carry rush in every town but e-rock says it hasn't surfaced he was just shaking like a blithering idiot he was so nervous he found it by cupping his hand around his ear and <laughs> just craning his neck a little to the right. <laughs> ah, there it is. It's, it's in the air in America. He's trying to say it's hard to find Rush Limbaugh audio in this day and age. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Sure. It hasn't surfaced yet. Oh, these yeah, guys. During just, the Limbaugh generation. These guys just, just suck. I wish he'd go they swimming and suck. not surface. <laughs> we'll be back in just a bit. I'll joke about him drowning. <laughs> What's up, Joanne? This Jimmy guy, he's useless. No one cares about that. That's very nice. Be a little more effective if a man called in. Dumb broad! Dumb broad! Hold on, hold on. The man's talking. Being abroad, we take your opinion a little less seriously. Dumb broad! And That's right now, nice. hold up. Man is talking. Dumb broad! Dumb broad! That smells. The bottom line is, you should be on your knees, scrubbing a toilet, and laughing at what the men say. Right back at it. <laughs> O&A. Uh, supposedly Randy Spears is on the line. I am? The dude that got in trouble on Long Island. I don't know if this really? is true, but we'll see. Uh, Randy. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm at work, and the final puzzle is back. Oh, well, thank you. You have a great day today. Okay, you guys have a great day, too. Bye, Yankee fan, Kevin. Mike from Kings Park. Oh, Mike. Yeah. For the bumper stickers, Mike. Hey, you know, I had to wait. I had to hold off because he's got, you know, he had his meeting and stuff. Mm. <laughs> now, well, he is back, Mike. So how do you feel? Well, this is yeah, WBLI, obviously. Well, thank you, uh, Mike. He did his apology. He did his thing, and now he's back, and now uh, we can get back to normal life here with the radio. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, we're so excited to be well, all back please together. Please put us on so with this clown was, And you were so sweet and so supportive in such a Shut nice up, way. So it was great to hear from you <laughs> all along. Every time all right, she talks, her fist should just fly Bye. across the table to a I fucking jawline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to say hi to Randy. <laughs> oh, is this Diane? <laughs> Your yes. fucking hey, voice is a homing ahead. beacon <laughs> for <laughs> fucking exactly. wife beating knuckle fist. You Dana a big day. Just hands with no body attached to the side of the window. Listen to this drivel. Get right back into it. I spent my whole weekend watching. Watching Randy videos. Oh, 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 oh. Please go to WBLI.com oh, and all the YouTube videos. You should be yes, circling a fucking uh, Yorkshire the Terrier. What about the on the news when you were dancing to the damn milkshake? Oh, get on, just don't curse. Yeah, you're on regular radio. I, like, oh, I don't know what they're God. trying to do. So I'm sure it isn't a listener just holding his yeah. phone up to the radio. Hi, is this Dana? Sounds like we're on hold. Hi, I just wanted to welcome Randy back. We have, I've missed him. I'm a resident of. I don't hear the Randy guy though. No. I'm trying to figure out who Randy is. Oh, a massive bitch listener. I got to tell you, I love everybody. Massive bitch. Oh, really? Is that him right there? Yeah, that's him. Oh, 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 oh. I sent my answer. Oh, oh, oh. He really has like a Alan Seuss in the house. Alan He's got like one of those sort of halfway through hormonal treatment voices. Yeah. Like he's halfway to getting a pussy put in. No, he sounds like a woman to man transformation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I thought that was the way around. Wait, wait, wait. Talk idle. Yeah. And all the fun and frivolity, of course, as usual. Frivolity. Bye, everybody. Wood Kingdom not only builds the finest place. Is that their big closer? Yeah, it's a good show. Randy. Yes. That that's that was you on that awful show. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what, what, what are you crazy guys saying? You just forced us to listen to BLI for five minutes, and I just heard awfulness. <laughs> oh, poor thing, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh, hey, Anthony, I saw, your, I saw your pictures on the web, kind of cute. That's him? Yeah, I get it. Gay guy, like, hitting on me. <laughs> Why? Well, you're good looking. There's nothing wrong with that. What? I'm just saying you're kind of cute. You're not my type. Randy. What? You, uh, you were oh, forced to read woman. that statement at the press conference? Uh, yeah. We've been there. <laughs> We've been there. We understand. You, you were yeah. forced to read that, huh? Did I say how cute you were? <laughs> yeah, a little, a, little, uh, a little hard to swallow, huh? Well, maybe not for you. <laughs> but, I mean, when you're reading a statement like that, it's kind of rough uh, to have to, you know, spit that out. Randy, Damn it. No, <laughs> we uh we stood up for you guys, but uh, man, that John Shea that runs that station, what a lame ass! He should have stuck up for you guys and just said, "Shut up, master." Yeah, my boy was uh, making a little joke, and that's all it is. That's exactly right. They have a seven million dollar pool out there. No one said anything about that, did they? Yeah, huh? Thank you. That's because uh, they embezzled it from uh, the school district or some sh Thank stuff. You, but no one got all up and up in arms about that. No, but now I'm kind of seeing why uh, nobody from the station got behind you. <laughs> <laughs> why? It's safer than in front. <laughs> Swim walk. <laughs> Swim walk. So, so uh, you're, you're safe now in your job? No, uh, no problems? As far as I know. Is this gay Marco? It's, it's real. Marco. As far as yeah, you it, know. It's real, I think. No, it's me, Randy. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's Fez, you motherfucker. Yeah. This is you, you motherfucker. <laughs> this is me, Randy. Wait a minute. Nobody says it's me, Randy. Like, nobody <laughs> says <laughs> it's me, Randy. <laughs> what? Are we allowed to swear on this show? Yes. Oh, you dumb motherfuckers. I am Randy. <laughs> Oh well. I really is that it's Ron, it's Ron and Fez. Ron That's and Fez. <laughs> so they got the end of the show on tape. What did you, you did production for this gag? Yeah. You guys don't work this hard. That's hysterical. <laughs> and we're so eager for a scoop. <laughs> okay, if he says it's him, it must be him. Huh? I come down and see you guys down there at that studio of yours. Yeah, you come down any time. Usually from uh, noon till three. <laughs> <laughs> poke chop, poke chop, greasy, greasy. We can beat your team, sleazy, easy. <laughs> what the hell are these idiots doing today? Oh, we gotta go meet with management. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, there's so many damn meetings, one after another, I can't even take it. <laughs> Tank. 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 I got that guy from Channel 12 News, and they didn't put that on the air, the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> he was so cute, you guys. I took him by surprise. He was so serious and everything, and I looked right at him. I said, what's your name? And he told me. I can't even remember. I said, well, you're kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> the poor bastard, he didn't know what to do. What to do? I gave him my number. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you guys, I could just talk to you forever. What is, what's on your agenda today? <laughs> <laughs> it matches the actual show so perfectly. It really does. Because really the good. show that, that they were playing was, was god-awful. Uh, yeah. And uh, you sound god-awful. <laughs> 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 God loves me, and he doesn't tell me I sound awful. <laughs> I just spoke to him last night. I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about time Fezzy comes out of the closet. Uh, we got a big scoop on the Ron and Fez uh, front today. Ron and Fez, uh, noon to three. 9.30 till three. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie. Are you cute little things? I'll lick you later. Ronnie. Ron. Ron. Who's Ron? Ron. Ron, Ron Bennington. Fez Watley. Ron. Ron and Fez Show. Yeah, Miss Spears. Miss Spear 
Cheers to you, OP! Is, is Eastside Dave there? Yeah, where's Eastside Dave? Is Eastside Dave, who's he playing, the hole? The hole. The part I of the hole? The I gotta go. <laughs> All right. Love you long time. All right. All right. See you later there, Fez. Bye. Bye, Fez. <laughs> Did you hear Ron in the background, right? <laughs> I, I, I it had to be Ron and Fez. I have, fucking have no idea. Uh, let's say hi to Chris in the Bronx. Chris, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey. This thing, guy, girl, whatever it was. Sounds like one of those carnies. Do you throw balls at them for $3 at the end of the day? The, the dunk the dummy tanks. Pardon me. At the, <laughs> at the end of the day? At the end of the day. At the oh, end of the day. Oh, at the end of the day. Oh, I mean, or that was a collar puller. Okay. Or, or, these guys are going to laugh so hard when they hear this. Why, when these guys going to laugh so hard? When I say this, they, they're going to invite me on the show. <laughs> I'm going to be saying it's a part of the show. Okay, at the end of the day. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. That's back the, to my job. That's the punchline. The end of the day. <laughs> back to my job, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Make another box. Yeah. <laughs> So was that Ron and Fez? Now I'm, I, I, I don't know. They didn't break character. No, it was actually Randy. Flux. Randy Spears? <laughs> According to Remember welding? Was, flux? Because Louie goes, is that Randy? This is fake? And you go, no, 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 that's him. It was just funny that you said that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Complete is this Randy? <laughs> yes, it's Randy. Randy, like, how could you not know? It's yeah, Randy. Come on. Yeah, I don't think uh, after apologizing like that, he would yeah. come on this program and you? talk like that. <laughs> and, uh... She's cute. Yeah. Although he did, did look a little queenish. Earrings. A lot of people saying, oh. yo, that definitely wasn't Fez. Now I, now I have no fucking idea. It might have been Dave and Ron. Yeah? Yeah. Or Lily. But it sounded like the character from the, the show. That, exactly. But it was too perfect. The show ends and then they jump on the air with us like that. That's why they did that. Yeah, they had the phone probably but they don't, up to the radio. But they're like us. They don't like producing a... A show. Well, it's only 10 a.m. now, so you think they signed off a few minutes ago, and then it was that was really well conceived, though, to have it sound like we're on hold, right? Because you guys know that you the hear phone. the show while you're on hold, right? And then the show's and over. Then hear the show end and then come back. I mean, it took the confidence that you wouldn't just go, "Oh, this <clears> is we're on hold," and hang up. Yeah, that you hung out. Yeah, yeah. Fucking it was smart. All of a stone directing over there. <laughs> <laughs> It's a big mystery. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta this. figure this out. Uh, well, guys tell all the truth about sex and relations. Yeah, I'm oh. sure that paints men in a good light, right? Mm, yeah. Chinese cunt in the middle. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> she's very sexy, but she's got a deeper voice than me. Why don't we get? Uh, yeah, the one on the left looks like a fucking guy. Guy in drag. Yeah, really definitely. Does. Oh my Curry's god, pretty hot, man. Or not even in yeah, drag. That is a guy. Oh, oh wow. my god, it's Michelle Obama. Let <laughs> me <laughs> oh, work on your trap some more, you dyke. <laughs> We're watching uh, the Today Show. Did you see her with that sweater on a couple weeks ago? She's, <laughs> I think she's a beard for him. I really don't. Do you? She's beautiful. Oh, I think he's gay. Yeah. Very hot. But she's got a voice like this. Next up, chicken salad recipes. <laughs> uh, do you like nuts and celery in them? <laughs> I'll give you a good firm stool. We'll be right back. This woman <laughs> looks like John Leguizamo. She does. Yes! <laughs> with a wig on. Yeah. Uh, no, what say hello this? to fucking uh. Scott LaRose. <laughs> What is this crap? Oh, God. Look at this. This is what they picked <laughs> right, to speak for men. Guys, now they're spinning it this morning. Uh, and hey. the fact that she's now having to fight for a political life shows that the momentum is all on their side. How would you respond to that? Actually, I think most political observers yeah. would say just um, the opposite. That's not that, the channel uh, we want. Obama we want the other channel. Three to one in uh, Texas. Wait, hello. Uh, who's it? We want the guys tell all the truth we want... about sex and relationships. Hello. How do I change this? Gay guys tell Steve. all about Steve. straight guys. Yeah. That's who they speak for us. Yeah. Right? A bunch of uh, gay-looking gentlemen. Yeah, um, is seemingly... Uh, I just nope. need this change really fast. We want to w listen to that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's like... I suggest that Democrats really have some nope. doubts about A. Nope, that's still up top. Yeah. Marriage. Okay. There you go. Andy, 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 many years. You, you've got <laughs> yeah. many years chopped off. 15 years married. Yeah. So many yes. years. Yes, tell me. What yes. do you do? Well, you know, What's his spark name? is spark. You it know, when you're funny. hot, you're hot. Yeah, swallow another love. When you're love. not, you're not. Uh, you know, but it's all about communication. Shut up. It's all about It is not. You know, it's all about I'm communication. when I married my wife. I'm gay with sperm in my mouth. Yeah, go home and diddle your fucking like, oh, it's Wednesday. Well, that's why a guy saying that. Wednesday is good. Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday is very, very good. Today is Tuesday, which means it is about communication. I got a hard dick and I suck it real loud. The person that you are married to is still that beautiful woman, or uh, for no, women, she's I don't even know you're a gay man. You have to remember, you're a woman. 
as much as you do or as much as you wanted mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. back in the day. So, so now you have to yeah, keep yeah. doing the things. They go, we're not talking about rape. Things that yeah. you used to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, be real. Are you still romancing them like you? Like yes, you, I you do. Know, I try to be creative. You know, oh, I try to do stuff yeah. like sometimes, sometimes I, I suck a man's penis. Try to mix it up a little bit. Pretend it's like if no one else enjoys it, I had a good time and she's had a laugh. When we were at the back talking just just before we came on air and we were talking about. Thank you, right, Stewart's son. Yeah. We're not going to talk about the wigs and the lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to say, right? Like the one that you're just wearing. Out the back. Let me ask you guys, are you guys romantics? I mean, when you show up, I don't know whether it's a date or whether it's to your girlfriend. Do you come with the flowers and the chocolates, or do you? Do you are you into yeah. the romance part? I mean, I'm a chef, so I've, I've got to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got to be about food. It's got to be about nice wines, candlelight. You know, a bit of. I sort of think romance comes from a situation. So it really does. It comes from a date rape drug. I get snow, fucking no, so roofie. You know, I give her a fucking roofie. Right? Yeah. 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 Romance is definitely a big piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just had this conversation with my girlfriend. They're all gay. Yeah. I know. They're, they're all gay. Like That's who speaks for us today. It's why I'm a fucking hateful. It's not about the sex all, all, all that much. It's yeah. about how they feel. Mm -hmm. So well, our biggest thing... It's the little love notes. It's the biggest thing. It's the love notes. It's the love notes. It's the love notes. important to them, what their goals, what their dreams are. I love are, my wife a love note. What makes them important to us? It takes a little longer to warm up. So guys, we're always ready. Because, see, we're, we're just... We don't know. It's like, so we need to be ready at a moment's notice. We yeah. To what? To bust into a condo? We realize that women aren't always ready. So you got foreplay. Take it slow. Foreplay yeah. is whatever is leading up to sex. It might be in the morning when you leave the house. You what do you know? Right the next time. And then you go out and you call it during the day. You this should be called guys tell nothing. Oh, my God. Uh, they tell you work it all day They tell long. all. Yeah. This is what passes, seriously. You know, right. 16 years, you know, Ask there's a guy lot in the back of just with life that's truck. intruding all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Eddie yeah, from sex is easy. The romance can be hard. Yeah. Pardon the pun. And the oh, Joe. Oh, 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 we weren't even going there. That, you know, we <laughs> not even going there. there. You know, find ways all the time to reinvent ourselves to keep things fresh. Is the glasses and, the latest one? All right, let's take a look at our next question. This is from uh, Whitney from New York. Oh. She asks, what uh -oh. happens after you hook up on the first date? Let's take a look at her question. Now the cops come to my house and go, where's the head? My question is, if you hook up with a guy on the first date, is there a potential? for it to go somewhere or was it just a one night stand? <laughs> How do men feel about the woman the yeah. next day, the day after? Single guy. <laughs> I kind of felt like this was coming my way. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, look, I, I, I personally wouldn't judge somebody whether they hooked up with you on the first date or not. Um, I, I think that Every situation is different, you know, mm -hmm. depends on how it came about. Did you meet him in a nightclub and then end up back at the How about if she wiped her ass on your you know, towels before she left? Is that when you judge her? Uh, you fucking and, you know, fag. You, to someone that way. Uh. <laughs> right, you have a little bit of a different point of view on that, right? Uh, no. no? no. Yeah, I, I believe that it can turn into something. You know, I'm just yeah, into a baby. very natural, innocent sort of flow of, of the relationship. Are you, so you fucking fagola? <laughs> Looks like your brother's like fucking white 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 Maybe she did that yesterday. Yeah, I, I mean, isn't that kind well, of well, cropping up in your I think it has yeah. a lot to do with the the self esteem and maturity of the man. Yeah. And also, like you said, the situation. If, Go warm up it's my the car. Type of situation where you're out on a date and you, things are going very well, it just naturally progresses to the point where you wind up going further than you expected on the first date. That's a different story than if you had a friend party back in, you know, down in alcoholic beverages and then right. you wake up the next morning and you don't remember how you got there. We had an yeah. interesting segment sure. on yesterday with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about sexless. Yeah. 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 Stolen yeah. car. About a relationship that doesn't lead to sex right away. It's disgusting. It should never happen. <laughs> uh, this guy's wild. Wild. Easy well, there, sometimes guys. sometimes the, the longer you be... wait, the better it is. Oh, yeah. is that right? You like forever. You must wait a long time, you fat right? Stay away from that dirty that vagina. That, that there truly is a sexual compatibility. Now, if, you, if a guy, if you're yeah. expecting a guy to be totally cold, cold turkey and, and go into a serious relationship with you, you that might even lead to a marriage without ever having any kind of sexual contact with you, that the risk that you wind your up in a situation you never had sex before he gets like, their pin number. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> connect on. Like for women, for us, we connect on so many different levels. I mean, you know, right? one of those so levels. You're so complex. For guys, it seems like right? you're like, okay, your head like one of those Charlie. You know, that's, 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 that's a measure of relationship. We so connect on so many levels, the fucking wallet and the cunts. Yeah, you're a real enigma. Uh, oh, yeah. Credit card You're with a dick, that's something. what you want, you, you know, stupid. And so much more we're so, we're so <laughs> complicated. <laughs> so many layers of complexity, you fucking... We want your cum <laughs> and your money, <laughs> both, so try to figure that out. When, you, when somebody cooks for you, you go out of their house, and the first thing you do you is want, you smell what they've cooked, you know, and you get yeah. a bit excited. Yeah. It's the anticipation that of the it? meal. Yeah, is really yeah nothing gets and me harder than fucking eggs over easy. You know, sex... I don't think it's just an act. I think it's it's something more yeah, than it that. It's, it's it's something really special. But and, and it's something it's to a share dick with my fucking person. ass. <laughs> of course, it's different. <laughs> yeah. All day. Yeah, and I want to say about this also. But you, when you're having sex in a I'm with you because we're both men and we're gay. It's much more intense. Listen to this fucking. This guy. Did we just no, say no that? No heterosexual guy would ever say that. What person you're dealing with? In a million fucking years. Ever relationships that that where sex. Again, later on. let's not bring and the fucking the police into this. I, if I knew that we were sexually compatible... Yeah, but we're talking about consexual sex. You said sex in a committed hug, relationship is so much other, more... And there's yeah. so many yeah. ways yeah. to communicate. That guy's... He's a phony. He's never, he's never he's seen a snatch in his life. No, he hasn't. Never. But it's just that most guys aren't going to really go for that. Again, we're talking about consensual sex. Even if he is waiting for you, he may not be waiting. He's like, well, I won't have sex with you, but I will have some sex. Okay, Moving on. Yeah, yeah, very <laughs> feminine. Do another your wishes. You know that guy knows his date's <laughs> over. Somebody blows area. a rape Anita whistle. from New York asks about how she uh, tells the guy is lying to her about having sex yeah. with other women. Oh, oh, your point. Let's you. take a look. I'm wondering, how do you tell if a man is lying about sleeping with other women if he says they're just friends? If his crotch smells okay, like yeah. a blimpy. How can you tell? Women have a very strong. Why would it matter to you, you ugly whore? And they know something. Up, and it's very simple. If you can see sort of the inconsistency, no, they don't. I've cheated my whole life. You're <laughs> fucking dumb as a bag of hands. Rinse your dick, go home, and go. Hey, I'm gonna watch a ball game. <laughs> yeah. Fucking stop it. If you suck his dick and there's shit on the tip, <laughs> chances are he's been with someone else. Very true. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah, let's ask Bo Jackson's <laughs> younger brother. Stupid. <laughs> How do you guys hide being gay from your wives? <laughs> he yeah, that's the question, he exactly. Yeah. And that relationship is right. doomed. Right. That's like and, and, it's and, all about the trust And if you have to ask the question, you will probably already have you already your know. answer. Because even, you know, like you said, even oh, if the right? answer is no, oh, really? the fact yeah. you ask the question yeah. shows works. a lack of trust. Yes. And there's so many yeah. other things that are probably going it's to happen. It's all on your mind, bitch. Sometimes it may be coming from another When he comes home smelling like pepper spray. She knows he's been cheating. You see a sketch of him on fucking the local news. Have you seen this man? Look, honey, either you ask him to give my vagina back. For men and women, when it comes to having casual sex, let's take a listen. Ah. Find dismembered Hi, tits in his sock drawer. Why men think they're the only ones? They can be the only ones to have sex, casual sex without attachment, and women can't. Well, you need to. I, I kind of have. Yeah, go, go. I'm so sick of this question. Did that, did that lady That's so leave fucking. Number? <laughs> oh, oh, this guy is out of control. Right. He's Don't. the bad boy. <laughs> yeah, because he's we, wearing we a ripped hoodie. You know I mean? Who do you uh, think he's Rod fucking Stewart? Uh, when when guys are out having casual sex, I think that we have a, a healthy understanding that women do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But are those but, the kind of girls uh, that you're building uh, a lasting exactly. relationship? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 that's the no. thing to remember. There is a double standard because when I look at a woman and they're kind of being <laughs> like go. that, very casual. Yeah, you, about you it, don't you don't like that, do you, faggot? The wholesomeness, the pureness. You don't want them for the long haul. I don't want them to be the mother of my children. I do. The mother of my children. Some girl licks my asshole the first date, I'm getting her a ring the next within an hour. I want to use her as a cum spatula the next 40 years. Next time she licks your asshole, there's a little ring in there. Aww, that's you Hey, lick my asshole. Do it again. She sticks her tongue in there. What is that? Oh, I love you. She's crying. How romantic. There's shit on the ring still. It's two carrots and a piece of corn. My wife is on the road with major rock and roll. I don't care about what you did before me. As a matter of fact, 
Don't hurt me. Just, just don't, don't tell don't, me. Don't, don't even tell me. Okay, wait. Wow. Can I ask you guys wow. to wow. come strong. back again for our next segment? Oh, great. No, no, you guys are great. Great. Oh, great. great. All four of you. We expect you guys to be very good. He's a pussy connoisseur. Thank you. Thank you. And when we come back, while you may want to use those gift cards that you got for Christmas today, right after these messages. Yeah, that's yeah, that's depressing. Wow. Garbage. Drivel. How the no, fuck am I not a trillionaire? I don't understand. The whole the gay, gay Look, guys talking first. There's another white man being betrayed well in a commercial. <laughs> there you go. It's like a carrot. It's like that movie, American Beauty. Remember that yeah. movie? Oh, where they got st- first, uh, Kevin Spacey playing the get, playing the man heterosexual, yeah, and he's in love. He wants to fuck. He's fantasizing about fucking a cheerleader in high school, right? Uh-huh. And the way they represent this in this gay movie, <laughs> it really this was. fucking bunch of come through a projector that this movie was <laughs> is like this is a fucking <laughs> this is a this is a man when you fantasize. Apparently, according to this movie. When you fantasize about a, a cheerleader, right. you lay on your back and flower petals fall all over right. you. Right. right. Rose petals just fall all over your body. Yeah. That's yeah. what you think about. Exactly. Instead of just like her hot, sweaty yeah. ass yeah. and the confused look on her face <laughs> yeah. Yeah. as exactly. you fucking come in her stupid <laughs> eye. <laughs> and then bash and her brains in with her own pom poms <laughs> right on your fist. Hold her throat and tell her not to tell people. <laughs> and you throw her into a cab and she's crying. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. You fucking, fucking best bleach your hair and move out of town. <laughs> yeah, fuck. And you yell. <laughs> Give me a C, give me a U, give me an N, give me a T, as you punch her in the belly. <laughs> no rose petals avoid her, needed. Avoid her calls when she skips her period a fucking month later. She's holding a middle of light on her eye to put down the swe- swelling. <laughs> when it's done, I want the sheets she's to look like there are rose petals on it. <laughs> exactly. She's got are a half and refer to her, a fucking, to her shiner. <laughs> you make her wear a fucking cheerleading outfit while you give her ass to mouth. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, like the, God. No, it's Kevin Spacey with this sweet look on his face and his flower petals. Yeah. And also, like, cluck, uh, mu- you know, jazzy music. Yeah. Whatever, music with a, yeah, that's how you fantasize. <laughs> with those wooden blocks. Uh, and fuck then yeah, the, the Marine at the end of the movie, the Marine, of course, the ex-Marine is really... Yeah, he's the one who's really yeah. gay. Yeah. None of us are gay. It's actually the, he- the one hetero guy. He's the gay one. Yeah. No one else is. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Spacey's not yeah, gay. No. <laughs> Fuck. He's fucking straight as an arrow. He lifts weights, listens to Zeppelin, drives a Firebird, and thinks about fucking rose petals. Yeah, the rose petals really. Fucking... And then when he actually sees her tits, he he wants he almost vomits. Yeah. And puts a blanket around her. Yeah. Where the fuck is the fucking man? There's no man there. No, absolutely not. She should have been in a He finally sees hold. the 18 year old tits and goes, oh, What have I been doing all the time? I yeah. forgot I like men and their yeah. anthems. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I like exactly. the cock. <laughs> I don't like vaginas, they're uh, disgusting. E Rock uh, found the Rush Limbaugh audio. Oh, he's oh, dead, dead finally. Oh, it, to. It, it surfaced. Rush? Where's E Rock? It was on RushLimbaugh.com. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. course it was. <laughs> it was, it was actually on OpenAnthony.com. <laughs> He got it from your show. That's about. He actually went into the future to get it. That's how long it took. He went into the five minutes from now. Where's he rock? I don't know. Is he coming in? Whoa! Look at Ohio, folks. Jesus, it's tied. Oh. It's tied She's up twenty-four percent. She's finished. Oh boy! But Texas, Hillary's winning. Well, by that's a little bit. weird because it was the other way around a few uh, days ago. Yeah, the polls She's just tough. open. Oh, hey. tough. She's a fighter. The rednecks are coming out from Texas. <laughs> E Rock, mm. I see the uh, audio surfaced, huh? That's um, that's a small portion of it. Huh? That's a small portion of it. We just got the whole show. <laughs> what? That's a small portion? You hear us go, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the. That's it. Can we hear what portion we have? Beer. That's all they have. You know, Obama Beer. can talk about the future, and the Clintons can talk about the past. I stand up for the right now. Mm-hmm. I'm that's big exactly in, right. I'm big on the right now. Somebody's got to be for right now, and that's me. Hey, listen, my my twelve year old daughter. She her statement last week was, "Who cares what the guy's middle name is? He looks like Curious George." <laughs> Don't let me laugh. I can't. I can't laugh. The point that we're going to make to you is, mm. you're going to have to be very careful how you try to disabuse. You don't have to disabuse. All right. He heard the comment. He laughed at the comment, and then realized yeah, he was like, he he was it was like a nervous was, titter. I think it was a polite, con- a mercy laugh. Yeah, yeah like, like <laughs> don't make me laugh. Kind laugh. of a mercy. She had shitty timing. That anyway. wasn't a. Ha, she wouldn't ha, have funny. Oh, no, God, exactly. Yeah, she kind of threw it away. That laugh. Yeah, she should have really punched monkey. No. 
had no was confidence. Honest, he would have said, yeah, she should have punched funny. Monkey. Fuck you and fuck your kid. <laughs> 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 if he had any fucking um, fucking hutch. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say Curious George. More more like uh, what's the one I say? Doctor Zayas. Yeah. And then the, oh come on, don't make me laugh. And, and then he came back from break and did this. I never heard of Curious George until that caller. Uh, yes, you did, Rush. No, he's, oh, he's he kidding. Was. He's kidding. He's kidding. I mean, I think this is a joke he's making. You think seriously. he's like being very sarcastic? Yeah, he's making and fun of the that he's probably that he that he knows he's of all the pressure. Something. That's is that all you have? I don't. I don't know. I don't care how old Curious George. I never heard of Curious George. I had no idea what she was talking about. He's being facetious. Oh, of course he is. Now they tell me Curious George is a monkey. Well, whoop. Either. No. That's what you get coming in sick. He's not kidding. That's pretty boring. I don't think he is. <clears throat> no, no, I no, think he's kidding. He's not kidding I don't at all. think he is. He's making an excuse for why he left. Yeah. I never heard of Curious George, and now this, because he has to acknowledge He's trying to save is. his ass. That's exactly, he, yeah, he, he, he was not himself. kidding. He wasn't being No, but he said, George. He, that's what I'm saying, is he's pretending, because he he's says, pretending he says, I don't care how George. old he is, right. like he's saying, I mean, because there's nobody on earth who doesn't know who Curious George is. Yeah, he's lying, but he's 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 not being ironic about it, going, of course I do. He's lying. He's right. of course he's curious George is fucking. I well, think he's a saying good in cover. a way though that his listeners hear there's a little sardonic in the voice. Oh, I don't know. You're just being a yeah. head. Uh we're missing uh, the obvious by the way. <laughs> a lot of people pointing out that Iraq uh said small por portion for the first time in his life. <laughs> <laughs> God, they're like lasers. These what else what else is ridiculous. there? Iraq? God, they're um, better than fucking Clinton's ad advanced team that listens to everything and <laughs> issues faxes. Yeah. Uh, I'm cutting up a, a piece of audio now where he he just goes on Why for several minutes li listing every cartoon that he's ever watched and what those cartoons consisted of. All right. And then uh, apparently there's a caller calling him out saying he's a big liar and everything. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Can I have more, Stone please? guy mouth. I've got Iraq West Coast. It's all dry. That's it. I'll like, have you smoked too much pot and you just... Wait, is your mouth dry? Iraq, was that audio hard, hard to find? Uh, The rest of it just showed up. What did, get, what did he get, a FedEx? At the door? <laughs> yeah. But, hello, I'm, I'm a rush come here and say it himself to her. <laughs> Send the UPS ground? I didn't know. We probably should have had that audio this morning. <laughs> it was, a monkey. Yeah, it was well, out there. I was looking for it. I asked. Nobody else could find it, so All right. I didn't have it. Uh, get Eastside Dave. I'm wondering if he's uh, ready for our, our contest. We said 10.30 today. And uh, in other news, Brett Farr has announced his retirement. Uh, well, he had a adios. good run. God love him. He is adios. God love him. What a, good, what a him. great way to go out, throwing a fucking interception. That's yeah, it. That's his last memory. Yep. Oh, shit. That's right. Now he's going to be like a, what is he, 35? A big one, too. No, he's, no, he's fucking 40. Uh, I'll be shooting um, himself in a room. He'll fucking, he's going <laughs> to own a, a fucking room. car dealership on a, some strip in Green Bay now. <laughs> no, in Oshkosh. Yeah. Be what? Selling fucking Come Pontiacs. down to Brett Favre's, yeah. Yes. <laughs> fucking. What? You got they, miles of savings. Uh, they do that just to get out of the house, you know? Awful, I know. Oh, like, my God. Awful. <laughs> You're going to be fucking Elway. signing footballs at a fucking retard convention somewhere. <laughs> oh. He rocked for uh, eight Dave's requesting a minute. He, he, he's still getting ready. Mm. No, it's 10.30 we play the new game with Eastside Dave. All right, well. What's we the new game? The office he's not going to do it in front of his wife, is he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's been... <clears throat> Wait, Dave, it's not... We're not ready yet. Do you want to do it now? What the fuck? Are you ready, Dave? This fucking show. I hold on, hold on, get out there. Hold on. Are you are, are you ready to play this? What the fuck are you doing? Wait, I can't hear you. Hold on. Rafez noon to three. Hold on, what? Rafez noon to three. Was I supposed to shove it up my ass before? Because I did. All right, hold or do on. Or you want me to shove it up uh, on the air? Right, wait, stay out there. We got to play the official uh, oh. promo. Eastside Dave's here. His wife's here. He's got something in his, his ass. His wife is on. Does he? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's our new contest. He just loves taking it. Bonifaz started this, this new war. Goofy, like, um, <clears throat> goofy radio bits. They got spinning the hit, and now we came up with this. Here's the official uh, <laughs> And she's holding the cup over his dick while he takes his shirt yeah. off. Oh, why does he got to take all his clothes off? It, 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 yeah, he's got it, Louie. Here, here's the intro to the new bit. <laughs> he's completely naked, and he's ready. Except for he's got to get Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for What's Up, Eastside Dave's Box! Oh, okay. Eastside Dave has got the object of his ass, and Opie and Anthony have to figure out what it is. <laughs> wow. It's What's Up, Eastside Dave's Box! I heard this bit on NPR. <laughs> <laughs> 
The money and oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eastside Dave makes his way into the studio. He's completely naked. His wife's outside on the bleachers, mortified. Eastside Dave is waddling into oh, the studio. No. Oh, his oh. non-existent right. penis. <laughs> but he's got his pants at his ankles like that. What are you, shy about your ankles like you're, <laughs> like you're in the Victorian era? But you don't mind showing your dick and balls? I can't take my pants off. There's something in my asshole. Oh, so, okay. Uh, right. yeah. He actually has something up his ass, and we have to guess. Something up his ass, and we have to guess. Yes, we have to guess what's up How inside Dave's get, ass. Do we get clues? How does this work? Do we ask him questions? Yeah, yeah. we yeah, ask I questions. Yes or no questions would suffice, right. Ron. Is it I'm bigger a, than a bread basket? Wait, we get, uh... <laughs> What's, go, up, what, what's up your ass? <laughs> That's not a yes or no question. Right. Oh, okay. Is it a food product? Yeah, let's start with Jimmy. Is it a food product? Very good. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's food. All right. All right, is, it is it in a wrapper right now, or is it a bear? I mean, okay, is it in a wrapper? Yes. What oh, is it in a wrapper? It's in a wrapper. Is it a Snickers bar? No. Is it a Jolly Rancher? No. Is it a ham? Is, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is it a candy bar? No. All right, it's not a candy right. bar, is but it's it in a wrapper. Is it sweet? It was. <laughs> yes, Mr. Anthony. All right. It's, 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 it's sweet. sweet. It's, it's in a wrapper. A head of lettuce. Is it covered in chocolate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it? Is Wait, it well, you know that sticking things up your hold ass on, hold is on. to force things to come out. Wait, you said it wasn't a candy, though. No, but it might no, be sweet. Said it wasn't is, a it a, is it one of those sweet. emergency Snickers packets, bar. like, you know, uh, vitamin packets? Because that no, would give you a paper but it cut. it is hurting. Is it a fruit? It's hurting. What's it, a lobster? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, is, it, is it round or is it yes. oval? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why aren't we filming this? We are. Oh, I didn't see you, Sam. I'm sorry. Round in a wrapper. It's sweet. But it's covered with chocolate, too? No, the chocolate was the poop. Oh, it's a shit wrong. joke. Is it a yam? Right. <laughs> shit joke. Uh, is smooth. it, is it's it red? Wrapper. Is it red? Uh, no, it's not red. Oh, not red. does it have a stick on it? Yes. All right, oh. I would like to say Hold it on. is Go ahead, Anthony. a lollipop. Oh, God, he's going to pull it out. Oh, oh. 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 God. Oh. 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 He's still in the wrapper out of his ass. Don't touch him, you fuck. Jesus. Specifically, it's a blow pop, guys. A blow pop. Oh, no, you're not. He's gagging. Because he put it in his mouth. Oh, yeah, well, too bad. I don't know, but I'm getting turned on looking at his wife watching this. Uh, you all right, Dave? Yeah, no. Pop it in your mouth, Dave. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the wrapper off. Put it with the wrapper in your mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> he puts a lollipop in his mouth. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with dude to three now? <laughs> okay, so is the game over? <laughs> yeah, I think you. Uh, Can I go back to doing prep? I guess he's the wrong guy to ask about what's going on in Ohio right now as far as the election. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, there's Dave Bye. putting his clothes back on. Dave, when are we playing What's Up da Eastside Dave's Ass again? I'll have to talk to my higher-ups about that. Whenever right you after want, he gets, apparently. Right after the stitches heal. <laughs> In five minutes, if you ask him. When Anthony guessed the lollipop, he pulled the lollipop out of his yes, ass, proving that it, it was indeed up his ass. <laughs> oh, God, it's it sounded like a champagne cork. <laughs> it's brown. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Stop oh, making God. yourself puke with your own shit on yeah. a lollipop. You got the gig. Don't worry. People are going to know. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for letting me in here today. Sure. All right. Um, sure. Ron Fez, noon to three. You there you go. should somebody else smell that, by the way. Uh, yeah. You should fucking rub yeah, it Yeah, put that in the know. candy dish down in the lobby. <laughs> we need an outro for the bit. See, right now it would be nice to go back to announcer <laughs> voice guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. When Anthony guessed it, having him try to pull that. Oh, God. And the wrapper was still on, so you know that oh. that caused some damage coming out. Oh, paper cuts. And now he's walking around in victory with the uh, lollipop up in the air That's, with um, his gut hanging out and uh, his uh, awful oh, box is still on. He's shoving it in people's faces. Uh, you always, you oh. always around for the banner shows there, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Listen, it's Add completely something. entertaining. Yeah. Sam, you got that for, uh, YouTube or something? Yeah. There you go. Private collection. Like, yeah, kid will have a reality show. Mm. Fucking week. <laughs> yeah. Millionaire. I'll be reading for fucking Law and Order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a look at Dick Wolf's <laughs> head lump. <laughs> <laughs> fucking trying to impress a dude with a fucking goiter in his eye. <laughs> 
And he's like, nice one, Nick. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Can I put a lollipop up can my I, ass? Maybe, can I get maybe that'll help. Please? Yeah, I can do a Columbo for you. <laughs> <laughs> we will wrap up this mess next. All right. Oh, uh, this is... This is radio at its most fascinating. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. This is the worst radio I've ever heard. On and on and on and on and on. It's fucking boring. It's hard to be a good listener in general, but to try to listen to this, you're better off jerking up into a napkin and crying yourself to sleep. Trust me, kid. All right, getting ready for line of the day. E Rock's supposed to run in some audio of Rush talking about cartoons, all the cartoons he's he has seen over the years. What? Claiming that he never saw Curious George. Uh, here comes E Rock once again. E to the Rock. Look at him. That's running. That was uh, apology rambles about cartoons he used to watch. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, he's just trying to cover his ass because he laughed at the fact that someone said that uh, Obama looks like Curious George. Right. And then he's claiming he does, he never saw Curious George. He was just laughing. Rush Limbaugh. I need to apologize to both Senator Obama and to uh, Senator McCain. We had a caller, the last caller of the hour. Her name was Tammy. Is that right? What, what we were talking about uh, McCain and, and or, or Hillary and Obama in that race with her, right? Obama, Obama's qualifications. And she told me what her 12-year-old's, that right, 12-year-old's reaction to Obama was. That uh, he, little 12-year-old thought Obama looked like Curious George, and I chuckled. Now we went to a break. I'd never heard of Curious George. Oh, he's thinking I'm all the way, man. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I never heard of Curious George. I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, how am I gonna get myself out of this one? I thought Curious George was half a fag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we went to a break. I'd never heard of Curious George. Uh, only now have staffers sent me little pictures of Curious George. I bet. Never heard of Curious George. You know what? Folks, the camera's right. Was <laughs> now that I've seen it, yeah. I realize that he's a monkey, and I'm not sure what the big deal was, because that's clear. Curious George. Just curious. Never heard of Curious Folks, when I was a kid, the last cartoon I ever watched <clears throat> was Popeye. No, I didn't watch Mighty Mouse. I never watched Mighty. This is the whole point. I I, I watched one of the cartoons I watched. I watched Yogi Bear. I watched Reiner. the Flintstones, the Wacky Racers, which was hilarious. I was it? Don't know. Wow, what is? Well, he's that's going really lost sad. his mind. That's yeah. really sad. I, I thought that in the last segment that he was going like, "Oh, yeah, I'm sure this is what you want to yeah. hear." That this I is, never heard of Curious that, George. Never it's heard, sad that's what he's come to. But he's fucking, actually yeah. trying to say. You I never heard of Curious you, George. You can't correct. do a radio show as long as he has and not know who Curious George yeah, is. Yeah, that's care. just ridiculous. He's lying. It was also a big... Uh, that When that movie came out, you couldn't get away from the side of a bus that said Curious George. Didn't they just remake it? Yeah, recently they just too? did it. And why I, I wrote on it for a month. So he's he had, so basically, he's never been to a movie uh, website, is what he's saying. No, he's never... i got to be honest. I didn't know who it was myself. I don't know. I That's so how much I, have, I thought no, all those pictures were of Barack Obama. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't know that there even was. That's how much I like Hillary there. Clinton is tied with Curious George in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a cartoon based on uh, the movie Birth of a Nation. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know about this Curious George character. I had no idea Curious George was a monkey. Oh, shut up. Shut up. No one's fucking a liar. Uh, the Jetsons. I didn't like the Jetsons. I didn't like the Jetsons. I didn't like to, This is the whole point. The great thing you just said, I'm curious, George, I liked. <laughs> you just... But you know why there were no uh, black people in the Jetsons? Well, the future looks bright, doesn't it? I don't know how the joke goes. I don't care. I didn't like to listen to the whole point. I didn't read comic books. I did I not. They were both their children. I did not watch books. cartoons. Did you well, I did do? like El Cabong. You know, quick draw, uh -oh. draw that sort of. But I did not. I did not watch cartoons. He keeps naming so many things that shows that he is completely taken in popular culture. I know El like Cabong. I know, he's mentioned everything but Curious Yeah, he's, he, other H.A. Ray right. not books. <laughs> I'm getting a fine fact. I liked, uh, uh, I liked uh, the giraffe. There was a giraffe. I'm, I'm getting a fine fact from Than. There have been 58 Curious George books since 1941. Yeah, 58, no, huh? Pretty much huge. one a year for the last 60 years. Yeah. I don't know Curious George. I would concentrate on the man in the yellow hat. <laughs> I never I knew he had know. a house partner. I don't know this curious George. I don't know what he does. That's right. <laughs> nope. Did did not 
never read Batman, never read Superman, never read Flash, right, we never get read it. comic right. books. Come on, dork. Jesus. It's not a comic book. It's a huge children's book. What a nerd. And it's a doll, and it's a movie with Will Ferrell's voice that came out about two years ago. Tops. Is it? Yes. <clears throat> there was one time, there was a comic, I, 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 my mother was going to have to be gone, so she made me heat up a Swanson's Fried Chicken TV dinner. Okay, and I wanted to read thing. something while I was here. It was some cartoon. I but you didn't have one there, did you, fatso? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, mother was going out of, my mother was going out of town, so she put me in bed with my grandmother and her friend like Midnight Cowboy. Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave me a dollar and said, go to the movies, lover. <laughs> <laughs> she bakes TV dinners like the average person bakes cookies. Why is he bringing up fried chicken? <laughs> just that was kind of stupid. Yeah, a little yeah, it was weird. Just a whole tray weird. of TV dinners. Yeah, I didn't know Swanson's chicken. made chitlins. And <laughs> I never had fried chicken growing up or watermelon I used to we had the the Swanson's uh jowls <laughs> thing while I was here it was some cartoon I can't even say what the comic book was but I did I have no idea who this mighty or this this curious George guy was. oh my no, god, god, god shut up Jesus what an asshole I wish to apologize to both Senator Obama and yeah, Senator McCain it was, not, it was not my intent protecting his to empire bring dishonor and and uh uh, <coughs> guttural uh, utterances uh, wow. into this campaign. It happened. All of a sudden he got I <laughs> laughed about it. It was a 12 year old kid's reaction to Obama. It was told by his mother. I was laughing because I was being polite, but I'd never heard a curious joke. I still don't know what the deal is. I mean, oh, I yeah, wow. but this is the bullshit Holy of it, you shit. fucking shit. He's like Maxwell. Oh, my God, are you He's going? He's a liar because he That's that. He not only laughed, he went, uh, don't make me laugh. Yeah, don't like, make me laugh. I can't laugh at that. Right, it was obvious that he knew that there was something there that, that he wasn't he shouldn't be to laugh laughing. It was a cautious, uh -huh, okay, don't. Why would he say, don't make me laugh? Don't make me laugh. Give, at that. give right. another reason for him to say right. that. He didn't know. That if he didn't know what Curious George was... Exactly, I didn't even think of that. Why did he go, oh, okay, don't God. make me laugh, I can't, we gotta get, I gotta get good off the counselor. air. Very you know, good, counselor. Very good. But that's what this... It, it, people are actually able to deny shit that's on fucking tape of themselves. This is like I only laughed because I was Stalinism. being polite. Really? Then why did you You can't mention... even say things. You can't laugh at You have to explain yeah, why. No, no, he, no, no one called him out this on anything. in the Soviet Union. He started circa explaining 1950. shit. Yeah. He started explaining shit before anyone said anything. It's play, play. Horrible. Can you? I'd love to hear the laughing again. Sure. Because yeah, the original laughing. The original laugh. Uh, let she me just find that. Cute Hold on. on, let's get some. And of just hear how he's going. Oh, uh -huh. but I have no clue what Curious George does. I don't, I don't, I just, I don't know. And First. Dawn stunned me. Well, you know, Curious George was around when you were growing up. Well. First, I have heard. In fact, I can tell. I have never seen a cartoon starring a monkey. McGilla Gorilla? Yeah, liar. Oh, are you a liar? I never liar. even heard of monkeys. McGilla Gorilla is a, uh, a gorilla, <laughs> which though it is one of the uh, primates, one of the great apes, it is different than a chimpanzee, which I believe is what Curious George is. I thought King Kong was a guy with a crown. <laughs> Fucking con, shut up. <laughs> He's afraid to make any reference to anything. Oh my, what a fraud. Fucking I move. know uh, Davy Jones was in a band. <laughs> I don't know what the name was. I never heard of it. <laughs> Mickey Dolan's. I. Uh, he's just a starring a monkey. <laughs> I was somebody's uncle. I don't remember who. <laughs> yeah, so, unless there was one on the Jets and, or on the, on the Flintstones. But well, I think it's a barrel of something. I saw him Planet of the Something. Unless there was <laughs> with Charlton Heston. Yes. Planet of uh, what was uh, it? Something. That's right. Um, oh my God! He mentions the Flintstones. Which yeah, he mentions the, oh, if there was any monkeys up, in the Flintstones. Which brings up the the most racist yes, cartoon monkeys joke ever. ever. Exactly. Oh, that's All right. right. Oh. Yeah, I think he's speaking in code. <laughs> you know why there weren't any black people no, on the Flintstones? Well, he's not speaking in code. Okay. I know. He's a dope. Fucking fat junkie. Yeah, so, unless there was one on the Jetsons or on the, on the Flintstones, but I think those were dinosaurs and alligators. Dinosaurs. What? He's insane. He's panicking. He he he's Who do you think used to fucking wash the dishes and go? It's a living. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking monkey did something in that. I know it. How about grape ape? You never heard of grape ape? Yeah, Gorilla, exactly. Gorilla Gorilla. You know, Obama can talk about the future, Here we go. and the Clintons can talk about the past. I stand up for the right now. Mm -hmm. I'm, big exactly in, right. I'm big on the right now. Somebody's got to be for right now, and that's me. Hey, yeah. listen, my 12-year-old my daughter, She her statement last week was, who cares what the guy's middle name is? He looks like Curious George. 
Well, your daughter's a racist. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I can't, I can't laugh. The point I was going to make to you is, you're going to have to be very mm -hmm. careful how right? you try to dis. You don't have to dis. He laughs yourself. and then goes, "I can't laugh." I you know exactly. Can't. The, laugh, the laugh itself is like, <laughs> I, I can't, can't laugh. Yeah, I can't why laugh. would you say? I why can't would laugh? he say that? Why can't you laugh? Unless you're on a pill that every time, you, like for your heart, but every time you laugh, your asshole falls out <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking dog's, like you a pussy. <laughs> pick it up like it's your keys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I... it's slinkies out of your pants. Some... What? Uh, uh, Iraq just handed in some else. What's this now? More cartoon babble. He says Hillary probably liked the comment, and then he had to go and apologize to Hillary for saying that. Oh, my now, God. This, what this is, is what happens. <laughs> this is, is what fucking happens when oh you get a woman God. and a fucking... This is the... Fuck. <laughs> this is, <laughs> fuck. You understand? This is what white males have been going through the last 50 years. <laughs> yeah. You can't say shit. Uh, no. He rocks smiling, and then what? It's and then he goes on another fucking cartoon... Fucking insanity. Another cartoon rant, claiming he's never uh, seen Snoopy, <laughs> but then describes every character mind. in Charlie Brown's world, but has never seen Snoopy. And then he goes, w was Snoopy in the newspapers? Was he a comic oh, book? Gosh. I don't know. And he just Shut. Keeps I going think Rush going. is losing his mind. He really, well, what a fuck, he, I thought he always thought he sucked, and he was yeah. a cornball, but he, now he really is just becoming uh. irrelevant. <sighs> so at any rate, uh, we have fired the caller, Tammy. Um... We're not going to put up with this on this program, ladies. We're not. We're that's not. a little sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's sarcasm that's right there. That's part of me that thinks think he's, he's doing this to make his listeners yeah, laugh. Like he's yeah. going way over the top, saying, "Maybe I could never have heard of me." I watched the Flintstones. Maybe, maybe he's playing. Hey, I, I mean, I, I don't know. He if might be playing. He's on a Flintstones. Yeah, but you don't think he, he could be playing might both be sides? Fucking worried about losing his fucking. Yeah, he's, but he's doing both. He's getting right. He's playing both sides. He's like because he gets to say, "I totally apologized," but his listeners are going, "Yeah, that's hilarious." Yeah, yeah, they're laughing. even managed to do. The Flintstones monkey joke. <laughs> you even snuck that in. Look at this on this program, ladies. We're not. We're not. We're not wow. going to tolerate this kind of stuff on this program. And I do officially apologize to both Senator Obama and to Senator McCain. He keeps saying that over. Why and over aren't you again. apologizing to Hil uh, Hillary? Well, she's probably happy it happened. Uh, <sighs> No, I guess I better apologize for saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, it's all, all right. facetious. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is all he's, facetious. He's being full of shit. That's no, funny. and if you listen to the first time he apologized, that he goes, as long, I don't care how long that's been out, that Curious George, how old it is. Yeah. I don't I don't know yeah. about it. And it's a joke. But you see, you see, ladies and gentlemen, what, what th this, I'm doing this as an illustration for you of how really uptight and tense everybody's going to yeah, be see? with any kind of criticism of yep. Barack Obama Yep, on okay. the Republican side. I think we may set a record in this upcoming campaign. If Obama is the nominee, we may set a record for the number of apologies. <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly what this is. And his good. campaign good. That's what by is. various uh, Republicans and so forth. All right, good. So that's that. Wow. That was what it was. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Set a, set a record for racial. Uh, he racist chuckled jokes. at a racist joke, uh, you know, borderline, and then off the air, somebody said, "You may have to apologize for that." And he says, yeah. "Fuck no, this! Watch this! I'm gonna fucking sp Here we spend go. the rest of the show." Oh, good. good uh, I regret that it happened. I can't use the McCain excuse that I wasn't here because uh, I was here. Yeah, I know I'm here, but I'm not really here. And it was the end. It was coming up on a hard break, and it, <laughs> I had to be polite to the caller. Do I know who Snoopy? You know something? She just asked me. I, know who, I have never once watched a Snoopy television show. I have Snoopy. never read. I have never read a Snoopy book. I have seen Snoopy on the blimp, covering golf term sort. But I have not. No, I'm telling you. I was into the cerebral pursuits. I'm telling you, when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was be older. I didn't want to be identified as doing anything that, that kids did. So, no. I, well, fine. Adults watch Snoopy. I didn't. I did watch Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer at Christmas time. Thought that was cool. Um, I really got into Christmas stuff. I still do, as you all know. But I did not. And people say our show's unfocused. Yeah, he's he's all over the place. He's back on the. I mean, I know the Snoopy yeah. story. You got Maybe. the you got the Linus character. You got what's her name? The always denying Charlie Brown the ball. Lucy. Lucy is always, you know, Charlie Brown's the nerd. The, he's the brunt of all the jokes. He's I don't know what Snoopy does <laughs> in those. In that, I don't. Snoopy sits on top of the doghouse. I don't know what he does. I just know he the character Snoopy. I have never read. Where even was Snoopy in the newspapers? Okay, were there comic books with Snoopy? The Charlie, the Charlie Brown strip is Snoopy. Okay, what's he killing time? I never read Jesus the comic pages in the newspaper. 
All right. We, we got the it. point earlier yeah, now. Yes, right. Right. Do we have a not the pages you know, I've never it. seen, uh, I don't even I have d- a TV. What the? What? Uh, oh, he's like radio. He Gilligan's I Island. Puzzle. I, uh, I didn't read classified ads. <laughs> I went the editorial <laughs> page. I went to the Mary sports Ann, page. More than ginger. And and that, that's, <laughs> that was my extent of using And sometimes, you know, the news section and so on. But I did not All read right. the comics. Enough. And that's why Long. I never heard... Of this local weed, Crazy George, or Curious George, whatever his name is. Curious George? Crazy George. He's doing both, man. Yeah, he's doing both. He's not just a, he's not just being yeah. such guy. He's for real is apologizing. Yeah, he's doing both. Yeah, he's, uh... Well, and by the way, it's pretty clever. Listeners, here's my text from Roland. You know, we should have known. Oh, no. I mean, uh... Oh, boy. It's not happening... Uh, Arroyo, who plays Bubbles, which I'm happy, and Tristan, the guy who plays Michael. See, I do. That's how the fuck up happened. Um, you know, who, who I'm happy to have Tristan come in too. HBO is working on Michael K. Wait, we're not kidding. Uh, They're right. not working on him. You yeah, thought we were having Omar from The Wire and it's somebody else? Well, no, we knew the other guy was coming, Tristan, who plays a guy named Mike. But that's what which, which they told us, which is fine. They're gonna get Michael Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> Some sound effect. It's gonna make the sound effects. Yeah. It's gonna be great. To, uh, we're trying to promote. The fucking series finale. Did it happen already? No. This series Sunday? finale is this Sunday. Okay. So why can't they... Uh... I'm going to watch it and then uh, save myself about four hours of DVD watching. Of box set watching. More than four hours. It's an hour an episode. Shit, 40 hours. Just uh, watch the finale point, and not know what's going on. 20, now, what episode does Curious 20? George get shot in? I don't know. Every... I've never seen it. I <laughs> have no clue what you're talking about. How about fucking, hey, Roland, how about working on Felicia Pearson or working on Jamie Hector what we got now? or Michael K. Williams or any of those guys? More animation he hasn't seen? Come on. <laughs> it's almost it. No. It's almost it. What? No. The, uh, he, he talks about how... Um, he, how he found the title Finding Nemo misleading. He thought it was about Captain Nemo and then found out it was about a goldfish and uh, one other cartoon in there. About a goldfish. It's a bit. He's doing a shitty bit. I have never yeah. watched an episode of The Simpsons. I have seen The Simpsons when it's been on other people's TVs. I have keep walking. Uh, I'm not big I'm not big into animation. I'm into I keep telling you, I'm into what's real. The right now. I don't... Animated stuff leaves me cold. I did watch... The Simpsons are pretty real and right now, man. It's well, just... at least during the time it's been around and popular, right. they have been. Oh, I did watch... I got roped into this. Somebody, I did watch Finding Nemo. Did watch Finding Nemo. The funniest part of that movie was in the Sharks. They're having a 12-step meeting to get over their addiction of eating little fish like Captain, like, uh, Captain Nemo or Little... Captain uh, Nemo. <laughs> when I first heard about Finding Nemo, I thought it was a like Captain Nemo of the Nautilus. Oh. You know, some little goldfish swimming around. But there was a funny line in that movie. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> really racist. <laughs> oh, they call seagulls sea rats. Holy that exactly. That's the funny exactly line? They are. Hysterical. I'm going to run out and get that. More, as many Jim eagles as there are line. seagulls. This Wouldn't the world a be a bit, greater place thinking, if there more, thinks he's more funny. pelicans it's and yeah. there were seagulls? I understand why I'm... But we can all dream, we can all have hope for the future that the pelican population might someday... Why pelicans? Also, his uh, banging on his desk Anyway, I've got to take a tell. brief time out. It's a tell. Such a tell. Well, He's uh, just doing a... He's a weak bit. That's a code Very for bad. people. Uh, Brad W. Yeah. from yeah. King's Park writes, right. he, uh, he was on The Simpsons. Rush Limbaugh, he was on The Simpsons. Oh, he was on The Simpsons. Yeah. Yes. So. He's just... Okay. He's, it's a weak bit. And J.J. Walker from the Bronx, stop flip-flopping, pick a side, Rush stinks or he doesn't. We don't know what he's really doing, J.J., I, so shut your face. And I don't, and don't listen don't to his... the people what to do when you're a fucking... Concept, I don't listen to his show, so I don't know if he <laughs> stinks or, or if he's great. I have no idea. We can't tell exactly the tone of what he's saying, so that's what we're flip-flopping, as it sounds like he's doing it's, something different. Sorry, you make the decision immediately and never waver. If, it's important. If we I was a regular decision. listener of the show, we'd be able to tell what this is all about. Yeah, we didn't then you know. would understand, you know... His uh, his delivery and stuff. I have no fucking idea. Yeah, HBO so is not working. Fuck your Michael mother in a <laughs> refrigerator box under the bridge. <laughs> Faggot. Right, let's get line of the day out and line of the day. Ski Colorado now dot com for info on great deals in twenty six world class resorts, up to the minute snow conditions. You log on to ski colorado now dot com. Here's a runner up line of the day. He fell out of a skyscraper right in New York City. Right? Yeah, he walked out of the window. Yeah, he was dusting in the attic that. of the <laughs> Chrysler <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> the jury read Wilson benefit. T- jury read Wilson. Right. 
Charity All right, Wilson. Town Hall, Town New York Hall. City. Yep. Jimmy, Louis C.K., Nick, Ticketmaster, and a bunch of other great comedians uh, will be there at Town Hall tomorrow night. Uh, Ticketmaster.com for tickets, or just show up at Town Hall, right? Home. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah unless come. it's sold out, I'd go to Ticketmaster first. The one I went to was sold out a few years ago. It was awesome too. Yeah, they used a really do. good time. Here's another runner-up line of the day. I'm confident in saying that none of their lives are good. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's I'll say that sign. right now. That's on the sign when you drive into the town. <laughs> <laughs> right under the population. <laughs> Very nice. Stinks. Good old mask. Stinks, New York. Yes. Right to the next runner-up line of the day. This is from uh, Whitney from New York. Oh. She asks, what uh -oh. happens after you hook up on the first date. Let's take a look at her question. Now the cops come to my house and go, where's the head? My question is, if you have a couple of guys on the first date, is there potential for it? Where's the head? Wow. Fucking great, man. Here's uh, the, just a matter of fact. Here's the final runner-up line of the day. Extra, extra. Yeah, we would get, get old-fashioned paper boys with knickers. <laughs> Oh, oh, the short pants. Okay, yeah, it's it's pants. I thought you were continuing the theme of the show today. No, we're not going to hire them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, short, my. Short pants. Yeah. Used to golf in them. Yeah. Something. I think that's it. Line of the day time. SkiColoradoNow.com. Thank you. Here. Here. Come. Line of the day. Line of the day. Trailer homes are not permitted under local zoning laws. Oh. I have nothing against trailer parks. Too high income. <laughs> and no one can afford them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a roof. You have to sleep outdoors. Garbage. <laughs> and that's how you executive produce. And garbage. <laughs> garbage. All right, we got the plugs in. I have Any to... other plugs? Yeah, I got to plug Atlanta this Saturday. Jim Norton. The Roxy Theater. Uh, 8 o'clock show, Ticketmaster.com, or call 404-233-ROXY. Uh, it's almost sold out, but I don't think it is, so this Saturday in Atlanta. I'm in uh, Wilkes-Burry. What the hell do you call it? Wilkes-Burry. Wilkes Wilkes-Burry, Pennsylvania, at the, a theater. And uh, on Friday and Saturday, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, at a theater. Good routing. Yeah. I'm at a theater in Times Square. I'm going to go see... Uh, Sandra Bullock slays movie, <laughs> Practical Magic. Uh, it's a big theater. I hope it'll be filled. I'm at. I'll be at Tarrytown at the uh, the music theater in Tarrytown. That's awesome. Friday, Saturday night, and then next weekend at Tampa Improv. Go to nickdip.com for all your Dip. Nick DiPaolo needs. Very sweet. All right, let's get yeah, out of here. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. Robe, soup, cheers, poodle, Robert Reed, and repeat. And the Opie and Anthony Show.